a little recap, maybe? Yeah, let's, um, I'd like to see or hear the, re are we, we good to go? Yeah. Um, I'd like to hear the recap from you guys. Uh, that way I can see what your pointer and perspective was for that last session. Um, so, so uh, I'll, yeah, Adam, go ahead. So we met with the lady that had a disease. We're trying to chase down the cause of the disease. She sends us, stop, what are you doing with that fucking laser? <laughs> so we're trying to find out the source of the disease. We end up, she teleports us to a city and there's like a big carnival going on. Um, we walk around a little bit. We check um, Death and Solid's characters. Um, what do I have? Halux and Gideon go into a little map maker. He doesn't give him shit. Um, we go into a potion guy. He didn't give us doesn't give us shit. Me and uh, uh, Shavas and uh, Wabu Lop go in there. Mm -hmm. um, Panda Talica goes and talks to an orc and gets uh, some really good rolls to get them to make get him to make her some armor. And then we go into a bar and we see like um, we hear about Dino races coming up tomorrow, and uh, the main guy is there sitting on a couch with two ladies, uh, two maidens of some sort. I'm not sure what what race or whatever, but um, groupies. Yeah, two groupies. Um, he's like big shit in town. Uh, number yeah. one Dino racer wins everything. Number one. Number one. And uh, big giant I have Halux decides he's hungry and just eats his fucking brain in the middle of the uh, middle of the bar. So. Yeah. Some uh, police police types come in and um, they they yell at us about uh, fucking up and then we just go to bed and they look, they got us on lock and everybody leaves the bar except us so we're um, we're in the inn sleeping yeah seeing what's gonna happen so very good uh, that is what went on um, and to kind of add on to that uh, not only did the police or guards come uh, also uh, solid received a message telepathically from. He, who he doesn't know right now, uh, but is the father of the Goliath that just had his brain eaten. The fuck? Um, What'd you do? Amanda. Broke it. She said it got, she, it, she got kicked. We'll get back in because all the fucking camps are messed up now. <laughs> um, so yes, that was the uh, father of the Goliath. Uh, he's the Head wizard in charge at the port of Nazaru. So Nazaru, okay. Head wizard in charge. Head wizard in charge. <laughs> that's an official title. H W I C, yeah, baby. Yeah, H work. Um, so big whiz. Uh, we'll wait for uh, Amanda to get back in here to set the cameras up. There we go. All good. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, good. Nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm, all good. Right back where we were. All right. So, um, <laughs> as you guys left off, you're in the uh, bar are the uh, in right now um who's still in the uh i guess tavern area i'm in my room eating up all the food yes you had food uh lunch actually brought up quite the feast up to you yes um so you're getting still in the bar um or in the tavern area uh so am i just... i was in okay. there i was in there after everything happened i'm just sitting there tuning my instrument that's all okay Babu is in his room. Gotcha. Semi meditating. Azaria's in her room too. As okay. well as Avaholics. Perfect. So two of you are in the tavern. The other four are upstairs in their rooms. Um, as you're sitting there, kind of wondering how bad did we just fuck up, uh, or one of us just fuck up, um, you see. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm gonna have you roll real quick. Uh, the two that are downstairs, uh, roll a perception. <sighs> Ooh, can I get a warm-up roll? Can I get a warm-up roll? A warm-up roll? I get, I get a warm is that real? Dice. That's not a thing. Is that real? That That's not science. That's a thing. Well, technically, technically, you could just do a warm-up roll and not say anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gideon is not paying attention at all and rolls a one. Okay, excellent. You said perception? Yeah. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. 18. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Um, so, one second. All right. So, uh, Talika, what you will notice is um, <laughs> you're going to see behind the bar, uh, there's going to be uh, a small kind of trap door. 
Uh, and you'll see it start to crack open just a little bit. A uh, few pudgy little fingers come out and spread open the gap. And some uh, eyes pop out and you'll hear... Psst. Can I see it from without moving? Can I? I can see it, right, from where I'm at. You can I'm see it from the corner of your eye. Um, you can you can see something, someone is trying to get your attention through that trap door. I, without stopping my tuning, I look, and I say, "What is it that you want, creature?" Creature. Uh, creature. Who you calling a creature? You'll uh, <laughs> you'll hear a gruff, a really gruff kind of voice. Um, kind of whisper out in an elevated whisper just to get to you. Um, and you'll hear him say, You guys fucked up pretty hard, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't this, seen him this mad in a while. Does this get Gideon's attention? Uh, you can, no, no, you're all the one. You don't hear a fucking thing. <laughs> cool. Talika, Talika just simply shakes her head and she said, I might be with that. You what? I might be with that individual. You might be with that individual? Just, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of the words. Hang on. <clears throat> I might be with octopus lips over here, but what was my doing? Uh, he says, no, no, I, I saw the whole thing happen. I, it, was, it was totally that guy's fault. He, he's an idiot. Um, uh, I would you, agree. You, you, you guys want to get out of here? What's your catch? Uh, no catch right now. Just come on. And you'll see the door mm. open up a little bit more. And uh, uh, what you can tell is kind of a grayish skin, uh, stubby arm pops up, wave, waves you in to the <laughs> trap door. He says, bring your friends or else uh, you, you don't want to see what happens if, if he comes and, and confronts you guys in the morning. How not to know that you're not going to deceive me and lead yeah. me straight to the individuals that are about to apprehend us anyways. Roll a um, perception. Um, insight. Insight, yeah. Insight, yeah. Insight, yeah. 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 Uh, eight. Um, all, you, all you can kind of ascertain is that uh, he's being pretty sincere. Um, and he says, uh, you know, have it your way. If you want to stay here and deal with him, that's up to you. Uh, I can get you out of the city tonight. Is it just you down there? Uh, me and a couple ghoulish friends, but uh, they're further down the pipe. What type of friends? Well, the undead kind, but uh, I fought off a couple to get here. Huh. That shouldn't be too hard for us to take or handle. Hmm. Okay, so. So he's going to tell you to gather your friends. And uh, if you want, gather your friends, follow him out. He says he can get you out of the city tonight uh, before the head wizard in charge comes and tears you all a new asshole. I will meet with my comrades and get them to join us, hopefully. So he, he will um, hang up and uh, says, Time's ticking. And he closes the door. What you want? Or what you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna tell Gideon no, or don't come back. You gonna let but, them know? All right, Talika, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm going to. Um, I think I'll, what I'll do is I will do. A, like somebody say the word predest. Nation. Press the digitation. Thing. Yeah. Press the digitation. Play a little tune that sends out some a little little uh, musical notes to everybody's room. That just kind of slips under the door, just kind of pops and says, "Get down here." Go get. Go get. Uh, right, so I so roll. Play a little tune. Sure. Go ahead. Do you want to 16. do it? Yeah. All right. Sixteen. Game out. Oh, you, you, you roll. You don't have to roll for it. You just want. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. That yet. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna play. Oh, I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna save that for. Because right. cool. I only know one song, so I gotta oh, save cool. it for a good, a good, cool. 
right, so um, <laughs> you actually learned a song. That's awesome. I'm pumped. Dude. Um, as you Me guys, are, what the fuck? Are, That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. As you guys are sitting there, yeah. um, in your rooms and across the tavern, uh, and you see a little musical note flutter, and uh, the phrase "Get over here" shows up, uh, <laughs> and then, then <laughs> pops. And uh, uh, mount my pig. And uh, <laughs> proceed down the oh. stairs from my room into the bar. Okay, same. Yeah. Are you? Uh, Except are you I'm bringing... not going to mount a pig. <laughs> are you uh, bringing anything with you? Um, from my room, just my standard gear. No, nothing. Nothing. No, no treats. Me. No snacks for the wife. Um, well, I still I... have. The, I still have one bottle of wine left from the um, the diseased lady that sent us on our quest. So Sidra. Yeah. Yeah. So I am. Um, I used one bottle of wine already, so I still have one bottle okay. of that left. So that's it. Yeah. 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 Again, that was I hear a really, the really nice bottle. I hear the hefty pitter patter of pig hooves go by my door. Scuttle down the hallway. Yep. Which is surprisingly light considering the weight that's on top of them. Yes, a metric ton of flesh heading down the hallway. But uh, I'm lighter without limbs. Yeah, center of gravity is very compact. Yeah, 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 it works. It works. All right, so um, Shavas is going to head downstairs. Everybody else following? Yeah, Shavas. Yep, Shavas. Yeah. Excuse me. Shavas. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, sir. It's not Chavez. Chavez? Not, some, not some kind of drug lord, man. <laughs> it's like Chevy without the Y. Yeah, stand. Yeah. All right. Shabbat. So everybody's heading downstairs. Um, and then uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just congregate and then ask you what you want. It's what you want. Panda. Are we going to the sewers? I. I you don't know yet. You've been summoned by your friend. You don't know what for. I pause for my continually tuning my instrument and I say. There is a wee fellow in the trapdoor behind the bar. He has just mentioned to me that there is possibly passage out of here to avoid the law that our friends. So as you're explaining, pop, door pops open, and uh, this little critter pops out, interrupting you. comes um <coughs> scraggly dwarf pops up he says you coming or not yeah. i was just i was just he stands about he stands about five foot two um definitely haggard um uh, let's have everybody just roll a really easy perception check okay cool. 19 Three. A lot. Okay. Dice are hot tonight. <laughs> and nine. <laughs> okay. Eleven. Uh, five. Yep. Dice for one. You got sixteen. Plus six. So seventeen. I got seventeen. Perfect. Okay. So anybody that rolled above a five, um, you notice that uh, the dwarf is uh, only in possession of three of his limbs. Uh, he is missing his left arm. Um, Death, I mean, I guess you can see like his shirt hanging down a little bit further past his nub, and it looks like he has an arm. But recently uh, lost it, or no, 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 nope. It's a, it's a stu- it's a stub. Um, it, it was taken and healed now. Oh, okay. Uh, so he waves. He keeps the stump kind of by his side, but he waves with his good arm. <clears throat> waves in, and uh, he drops down. Through the uh, trap door. Uh, before before everybody takes off, I was just say he did mention that he did have trouble getting through to here via a situation with some undead creatures. So we might have to be fight. We might have to fire our way out of here, anyways. I want to charge through the uh, trap door and say uh, <laughs> high five. Right. <laughs> uh, all right. So. You'll drop down into the sewer line, yep. and uh, Babu's right after him. Immediately, yeah. immediately drop in and say high five. Throw up a stump, and the uh, dwarf who you don't know his name just yet, 
looks at you, chuckles, puts his stump up, and goes, ah! <laughs> we, we touch stumps. <laughs> touch tips. We touch tips. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so... Um, I say, I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> So he, he says the same. He says, you know, I like this one. And uh, <laughs> you guys immediately form a little bond. Cool. Um, so, all right, everybody piling in? Yes. Yeah, Gideon just realizes what's going on and then just kind of, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Lead the way, new friend. I can't remember my voice. What was the voice I was using last week? Was it British? Yeah, like a... A little more. Yeah, it's it's kind of British. British. All right. Yeah. 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 I don't no, think it's not bro. <laughs> yeah, it's... I feel more like a all right then. Not a... All right then. English. All right then. Toss a coin, do a witcher. All right, Crikey. Closer. Closer. All right, cool. Lead Are the way, old stupid? friend. Uh, so he gestures you along, and okay. um, you guys are going to head down the sewer line. Um, as you're traveling along, uh, he'll actually introduce himself. Um, he'll say that his name is uh, Hugh Hackenstone. Um, doesn't divulge, divulge like a lot about himself, just that um, he used to be a, a, a citizen of the city and that um, he he um, was recently excommunicated. Um, and so he actually was a member of the Royal Guard and part of the um, group that was in charge of going out into the forest and reclaiming stolen and lost goods and to bring them back. So he knows this forest swamp land very well. Um, Hugh, I come from Royals. Let me tell you, sir, I can get you back in. <laughs> he, uh, he says, I, I have no interest in getting back with those assholes. Uh, seeing your friend there suck the brain out of that oaf was the best thing that's happened to me this week. Well, fantastic. We're happy to accommodate. <laughs> so, um, you will actually, uh, Take you along, and um, as you get further down the sewer, you notice some uh, figures in the distance. Anyone want to do anything? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll roll a. Q kind of slows shoot. down a little bit. I'm sorry, did I miss? Uh, is there plenty of light? No, it's pretty dim. Uh, it's, okay. a, it's a sewer line. I mean, it's, what if I can see in the dark? Yeah, any of that dark vision shit works, but um, it's still that dim. dark vision shit. Yeah, so... I mean, everybody's got dark vision. That's D&D. That's &D. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> if you don't have dark vision, you're probably we're not still in right. sewers when we're seeing this. Are we you out of the forest? You are in, nope, you're in a sewer line. Uh, probably uh, there's so there's it's a big sewer round kind mm -hmm. of shape um yes yep very sewery um there are two walkways on either side um in the middle of that is about a four foot span of uh gray water mm -hmm. and um you can kind of see outlets that are gated off on every 50 feet or so but uh, probably 100 feet in front of you you see again uh kind of a few figures that are huddled over um looking like they're eating something how many feet? 100 feet in front of you. I look over, um, I look over at Gideon and I say, uh, bad news, old boy. Looks like we're running into some trouble here. Let me uh, check those maps you got. See if one of them says Sua on it, would you? <laughs> Sua. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to run through all the, all the damn voices tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, afraid, I'm afraid I won't be checking any maps quite yet. Hold on. Old What's boy. My... Old boy. Well, yes, old boy. <laughs> I, I happen to be somewhat of a sewer dweller, so <laughs> I'm feeling comfortable here. Yep. <laughs> uh, just just because that, that was the reason I was asking, I, I do not have dark vision, so I cast it oh, on okay. myself. You cast dark vision on yourself? Yeah, for okay, so I, yeah, it was it was pitch black for you until right. Now. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. You were, um, you were holding on to the person in front of you at that point. Yeah, for guidance. <laughs> and by holding on, I mean I had a tentacle wrapped around their shoulder. Yes. <laughs> um, Can I so use my what? divine sense to see um, if these guys are evil? Yep. Go ahead. 
Um, how do is that, that's just a, is that a spell or is it an act like a ability? It's her like paladin thing. Okay, yeah, you can tell that they're not um, necessarily evil, um, but they are, um, they're just, they're Gideon useless. is. Um, <laughs> they're, they're undead, they're ghouls, from what you can tell. You've, you've, you've seen this energy before. Um, they're just uh, zombies, pretty much. <clears throat> All right, so should we attack this shit or what? Uh, Hugh will tell you this is this is exactly why he doesn't bring torches or anything down here. Uh, it attracts too much attention. Um, from what he can tell, he's actually already bought a few of these coming in. Uh, they are your bread and buttered ghouls. Uh, from what he can tell, it's probably only about three of them. Um, and he says, if we want to get past, we probably will have to engage. I ask Hugh. So it'd be wise of us not to draw any more light into this tunnel. That would be to... preferable. I obviously relay that to anybody that can hear me. Don't do any light shit. Yeah, no torches. From my don't you use the light. Attention. Yeah, that'd probably be a bad thing, but. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. So you said they're 100 feet away. They're 100 feet away. They are totally unaware of you, from what you can tell right now. Uh, they there's are, three of them. There's three of them hunched over, eating something right now in the water. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, so you can uh, get a free. I'm gonna stealth up to them. Stealth up to them. Okay. Uh, move my full my full distance. Uh, yeah, you, you don't have to worry about movement right now. You're you're out of combat right uh, now. Oh, that's right. Uh, stealth. <laughs> Oh shit! Twenty-one. Okay, you are still hidden. Um, Gideon doesn't move forward, but he kind of raises one of his sleeves and um, casts Chill Touch, and a ghostly tentacle erupts from the ground and wraps its way around one of them. Oh, okay. Mm, like All right. Yeah, I'm also going to be. Uh, I'll cast uh, my tentacle. So I'll be able to, uh, I'm casting a tentacle like right between them. So you're going to try and grapple another? Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, do, you, do your rolls for that, just a regular attack roll, um, <coughs> just to see if it grapples. Yep. If it hits, we'll just beat their AC, which is pretty low, and um, it'll grapple them. 24 to hit. And, yep, certainly does. Uh, so I'll give you guys. I'll give, I'll give everybody here pretty much a free turn, and then we'll go into combat. Yeah. Uh, it does ten, 10 damage to the one I grab with the tentacle, and um, since they are undead, they get disadvantage on all their attacks while this is active. Nice. Okay, so that was ghoul one. I think Amanda's going to use nature's wrath. As Basically, tentacles, uh, or not tentacles, but they're all, like, snared and now moving under difficult terrain. Okay. I think. Just, just check in real quick. <clears throat> so, did you, did you roll for yours to grapple? Yeah, it was an eight. Uh, nope, misses. So everybody get your shots off now, and then uh, I'm going to have you... Can I go ahead and do an action? Yep. I'm going to use... You said, are two of them grappled, or just one right now? Just one. Just one. Okay, the... One of the... The ghouls is not grappled. Yep. They are um, starting to turn to you after they see their first friend grappled, second one missed, so they turn... To see what the commotion was. Mm, okay. I'm going to. Um, oh, so you have to hit on this side. I'm going to play a little tune. Okay. But not, not the, not the tune on gotcha. here yet. Uh. It is thunderclap, pretty much 
playing a little tune on my yeah, big ass can, fucking yeah. instrument. Yeah, so 16 ounce yep. strength or dexterity throw. And I swing it, spinning out a thunderous wave. And they need to do a con save, all three of them. So I am actually going to have everyone make that con save because you're in such a confined space. Ooh. But it's in the direction in front of us. Yep. So the everybody else is behind us. Yeah, you're in a tunnel, though. It's going to echo. Ooh. Shit. Okay, fuck it. So everybody roll a con save. Nope, it's happening. It's happening. You said it's happening. Um, 17, 17 for me. Do you want to know what the save is? Uh, yeah. 16. Okay, everybody beat 16. Well, 19. I, uh, I rolled 17. 10. Okay, 22. Roll 20. 22, goddamn. Damn. Ooh. Con saves one of mine. Yeah. Oof. Nice. <laughs> okay, so go to your sheet. And add your con see that you're not proficient in it. So you just add con and charisma, man. Those are my those are my go tos on the save. I'm Amanda casting rolled, this. Amanda rolled a one. Oh, shit. <laughs> and a total, so a total of two. Excellent. Oh. All right, I'm gonna do something with that, but keep going. Um, so, <laughs> and I rolled a ten. Everybody that did not beat sixteen, Panda, go ahead and tell them what happened uh, while I roll for the ghouls. Uh, so I, I play my fucking big ass like version of this, and I swing it around, and it like throws out this huge like clap of sound in what is supposed to be the direction of the goals, but because we're in a tunnel, it's going to vibrate all through it. Now, I'm assuming we're doing and... all this at the same time, so, right? Like, yes, this it, is all, Everybody's moves all, all at the same time, so. This is all at once. This first this okay. first round of you guys is all at once. So, Solid and, I'm, I never caught your first name. I'm sorry. Amanda. Amanda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Solid, Amanda, you'll take four points of damage. Um, all right, so all the ghouls fail as well. So they'll take four damage. Okay. Um, as as you let out your big thunder crash, boom. Yeah. Um, Hugh saves, but uh, tells you, you bleeding idiot. What are you doing? You just realize where we are. During my turn, I look down <laughs> to the pig and I say, uh, toss a coin to your torso. And he throws up the gym, and it uh, lands on my chest, and I form my uh, power armor. Oh, God. Limbs extend, <laughs> and um, pig becomes a sort of like pig turret on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I've got arms and legs again, standing tall at seven-ish feet. So your head is uh, pretty close, about a foot away from the ceiling right now. Okay. Or crest of the tunnel. Okay. Um, and you still are 100 feet away. Right. Um, right. All right. That's my turn. So that's it. You power armored. Um, solid. Tried to grapple. Death tried to grapple. Or did grapple. Amanda, did you do anything in robot? Did you do anything? I'm ready. Yeah, Red. she's doing the ensnaring strike. But yeah, go ahead first. OK, so I'll do uh, an unarmed strike, but I'll use Furry of, flurry of Blows. So that'll give me three. You need to be with of Blows. You need to be within five feet. Oh, OK. You're 100 feet away. The, yeah. I'm 100 feet away now, then I'm just going towards him. You want to move, just move towards them? Yeah. Oh, you're just Does anybody else, anybody else want to use their movement towards the goal? I'll move ahead 20 feet. Uh, you can't do it. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and that is at a blistering. I'm, 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 just, I'm, 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 oh, yeah. I'm ready going, for action, oh, so I'm, you're running, so I'm <laughs> running through the darkness. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm chucking, chucking along. Go it looks like I'm running really fast, but I'm, I'm not. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Treading water, yeah. The water is moving. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can you can now if you run in the water, it's going to be difficult terrain for you, um, and it will be half speed. You can run on the okay. you can run on the pathways if you want. I go ten feet. Okay. In the water. Oh, you want to go through the water? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> so you really so yeah. you really just going. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, my my wisdom is very low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, really not very wise. Move closer to them. Can I move closer to them? Yeah, absolutely. So closer you need. You need a dash. Yeah. So go to your character. 
<laughs> what <would> my dash be? <laughs> Twenty feet. Walking, yeah. yeah, right. You can That's move up to double. Uh, I can't dash. So, so can I? Can I dash to sixty feet? Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you move like. Okay. Kind of as much as you want right now, just because, like I said, you're we're not really technically in combat. You're just getting these free actions. Um, okay. So sixty's fine, but let's keep it like that's the max. Okay. I run sixty feet. It takes twenty that's, minutes. <laughs> it takes until next session <laughs> and some say he's still running down that sewer <laughs> I looked at everyone else and say Who, who's winded that was a great campaign guys oh, oh Adam just made it out of the sewer <laughs> <laughs> I'll go as far as you'll let me yeah um, I'll, I'll let you just keep pace right now okay All right. so Mandy you're up 60 feet um, go, go, robot you, you can do the same does that put her past yeah. me? Yep. You will cast your thunder clap strike, whatever, um, and then they will run towards. Okay. So they don't get hit by any frontal assault, I guess. <laughs> Element of surprise. Gone. Yep. No, nope, you're definitely. I was like, <laughs> yeah, let's not cast any <laughs> any light. Yeah, don't make any light. Let's just. Create a huge fucking. Let's just make a bunch of fucking sound. <laughs> Xylophone, whatever the fuck you got there. <laughs> yeah. It's a kalimba. 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 They say kalimba. Calypso. Hmm. How do you play that? With a, you have like, like a little like thing. A little thing. Oh, you use thumbs. You, you yeah. click them. Okay. Huh. It's like you're punching the TI eighty three. Yeah. Ding, 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 I ding, ding. I know one song and I'm not gonna play it yet. Is it the thong song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. But I wish it was. Bing, 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 bing. I, you know what? I'll put that on. I'll put that on this. I will let you on. level up to bing, level bing, bing, bing. 10 right now. If you can hammer out the thong song. <laughs> I'm going on mute. I'm going to learn this real quick. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Yeah, it needs to be perfect. <laughs> I'm not looking for amateur shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Columbering towards Cisco. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's Close. up? Yeah, just waiting for a minute. Waiting for what? You you gonna do your ensnaring shit? Oh no, nah. I no, I I'm not. He said ensnaring um, strike. I'm not going to. I'm I have to dash again um, at thirty feet. To get at least 10 feet away from them. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's no right. So everybody's 60 feet closer. So you're 40 feet away from them. Mm -hmm. um, and now yep. I'm going to have you guys just roll for initiative real quick. Okay. And to say your name and number. Please. <laughs> name and roll. Just so I can write it down. Five. Robot. Adam, or Wabu. Adam, 10. So it's so your dexterity. Shivas. So uh, 10. Gideon 12. One plus one. Azaria 10. Who's higher on Dex? What's your Dex, Azaria? Hmm? What's, What's your Dex, Azaria? Oh, my dexterity is. Let's see. This is a plus. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. So one plus one. And I'm yours. Oh, my Dex? Um, yeah. I am plus one as well. All right. <laughs> So fat wins. I'm gonna, have, uh, I'm gonna have Adam go first. See, told um, you, fat wins. Fat wins, just because it's more impressive. Uh, All right, I got a five <laughs> for my initiative. Um, so, what's your dex? Thirteen. So that's a plus one. 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 And robot yours. <clears throat> my uh, dex is plus five. Plus Ooh, five dex. Jesus, Jesus Christ. All right, robots first. Monking it up. Uh, <laughs> Fastest turtle you ever seen. And then, Death, what was yours? I know you already did yours, just 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Just five of you? Yeah. Uh, me. Oh, Mine right was here. six. Six. Six? Yeah. Good rolls, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're saving the rest of them for the battle. Mm -hmm. I haven't so been rolling very good. The so ghouls far. all rolled pretty shitty. Uh, so mm -hmm. we are at. Uh, I'm actually going to have them all just go last. So they're going to just keep it simplicity-wise. So, all right. Um, Gideon, you first. 
Okay. Um, well, one of the ones that's not already in, uh, I'm going to make another tentacle. And uh, it just kind of uh, erupts from the ground and then yeah. winds its ra- way around another one. Um, okay, roll, roll the hit. Two plus seven. Roll 23, a hit. Yeah, let's do it. All right. And ooh, are you great. targeting? Uh, one of the, the one of the two that isn't already hurt doesn't have my tentacle around it. Okay, perfect. So is he yeah. grappled at this time? No, he's not grappled, but the tentacle hinders his attacks against me, um, giving okay. him disadvantage on all attack rolls. Gotcha. Okay, so you hit the um, Go ahead. Yeah, five damage. Okay. Excellent. All right, next will be um, Hugh. Uh, he is actually going to uh, go into a rage. Uh, <laughs> so he is a barbarian. Um, he, One-armed barbarian. Yeah, he, ha- he pulls out, or he unsheaths a great axe. Um, that's a huge fucking axe for his size uh, from his back. Um, it's very ornate. Uh, as you can tell, it was probably from when he served in the Royal Guard. Um, and he does a uh, dash up to them. Uh, he is... He's actually right up on them. Um, and... He's going to take a swing. And he is going to hit. And I say to him, uh, let's see. get him, little fellow. So uh, he lets out a big battle cry, raging. Um, swings one arm. This is uh, actually right arm, sorry. He swings one arm to the axe, uh, hits the ghoul, um, and actually lops off a good portion of its left side, um, doing some pretty good damage. So. And I say, it's like looking in a mirror, mate. Yeah, he did a uh, good chunk of damage. So, all right. Next will be Adam. All right. I'd like to cast Firebolt. Okay. <laughs> so, everything kind of goes through the gem in my chest. It's kind of like Iron Man style, right? Shoots out yep. a beam. So, Firebolt, um, let's see. Roll to hit. That is a 10. Is that a AOE spell or just a targeted spell? Um, it's a ranged targeted spell. So you're hitting one of the ghouls. Yeah, yeah. So whichever okay. the one that has the uh, the is he dead? The one with the no, he's he's lopped almost in half, but he's still up. Okay, hit him. Yeah, um, that's ten to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I want you to uh, just uh, shout to Gideon uh, not to uh, Hugh to get down before you do so. Um, okay. I'll let you yeah. do that. Get down, mate! I've got something coming for you. So he'll look back and take a dive onto the platform. And opens you up for an attack. Okay. So I rolled 10 to hit. Oh, that actually misses. Yep. <laughs> I figured so. So uh, this is a bad you, roll. You, you let out a chest bolt, and it sizzles past, um, illuminating the whole hallway as it passes, or the whole sewer as it passes, mm-hmm. Foom, all the way down. Um, and you can see it's definitely three ghouls further down uh, as they're lit up, and they kind of reel back at the light uh, and it continues down what do we kinda... see um can i perceive anything past that with the as light? it goes past um you can see it actually hit a wall probably about 120 feet further down uh, and it looks like it turns left okay but no other ghouls or anything like that anything no other ghouls note. Right okay. nope <laughs> right now <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> now <laughs> um and i'll use the rest of my turn to move up uh 20 or 10 feet in the water Ten. Well, actually, I know, I know that the water is like hindering me, so I'll get on the side, yeah. okay, like five feet to the side, and then fifteen feet down the down the side. So. Okay, so you're about twenty five feet away from them. Okay, all right. Uh, let's do uh, Mazari. I got my fucking damage die out for nothing. <laughs> like I had it set to the side, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna hit that. No, no, they can't. Hi, sorry. You um, um, me and um, <laughs> very low. Um, I'd like to dash forward and then use my longsword. Okay. Um, let's see. Who are you targeting? Um, one that's not ensnared. Um, so let's have you, the first one in line would be the one that's already been chopped pretty good. So you can attack him if you'd like. Sure. Um, so I got, let's see. I rolled, uh, 17. Hit. So now you got to do your longsword damage. 
What is long sword damage? Is two D? Is it two D eight? Is it two D eight? I think it's two D eight. Oh, it's or one D eight. One D eight. One D eight. Yeah. Six. And then plus your uh, strength. Six. Three. So nine. Nine damage. Yes. Okay. How do, how do you want to cut him up? Um. Take off his head. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you'll you'll head. dash up. Yeah. You'll dash up and uh, take a big swing and lop his head clean off. Um, definitely dead. Uh, let's go with panda. Very nice. <laughs> First kill of this campaign. I mean, technically solid was, but. <laughs> Yeah, all my attacks are going to make a bunch of sound in here. So um, I'm going to... How far away is... You are 40 feet away. Amanda. She is right next to him, so 40 feet away. She's within combat or melee range of the others. I'm not in range to reach her. I'll just do um, a, one of the remaining ghouls. I will cast True Strike. Okay. It's a cantrip. Yep. Uh, basically, Talika just kind of points at one of the ghouls and says, I will take your life. I, I messed up. I need to recompense for what I just did. So I'm going to take your life. And I'll get advantage on my next attack roll if it ever happens. Okay, perfect. Anything else That's you want to do? Time. You want to move? Uh, yeah, I'll move as close as I can to Amanda. What's your movement? 30. Okay, so you will be 10 feet away. 10 feet away. All right, next let's do robot. Okay, I'm uh, uh, running down the hallway. I'm going yep. to try to move here. I'm going to yeah. like run up the side of the wall. And go okay. leaping off. Do I need okay, to do cool. a deck save for that? Um, depends on what you want to do here. Well, I'm going to turn it into an attack. Uh, yeah, let's let's um, let's flourish it a little bit. Uh, describe okay. it really well and roll for like a two acrobatics. Okay. Do I use dex tracker? Oh no, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I think it's strength, isn't it? Or is it acrobatics. No, it, it's it's dex. Okay. Perfect. So okay, I run down the left side of the uh, walkway. I'm I'm ready for an attack. I've been yeah. waiting <laughs> for two solid to days to attack yeah. something. So I run up the side of the wall. I use my quarter staff to kind of pole vault, and I dive towards or I fly towards one of the uh, the ghouls. Would you roll for athletics? Uh, let's see, eighteen plus nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, so let's no you, uh... eighteen. 18? Okay. Let's have you add... 18? Uh, let's, ha let's have you add nope. um, an additional um, 2 damage to your attack. Because you're getting okay, so much... Okay, so this is... Really. It's two, 2 attacks with a quarter staff. Okay. So 8 yep. and 8. So that's 16 plus the 3, 19. Yeah. And then I'm going to I'm gonna switch it into Flurry of Blows, and that gives me two more attacks and i have to use one of my uh key points for that robot he's yeah. so dead at this point just fucking <laughs> okay i'll points. just let him die there i was <laughs> he's so dead um so i'm going all in yeah no save the key point just go ahead do your leap double attack with your go ahead and flourish double it. attack and, and so you're gonna, him. You're, you're gonna run up the wall pole vault up um hit him once it sends him reeling back Hit him again, uh, and it just crushes his skull in. I land on top of his body and ride it like a skateboard down Cowabunga. the... Cowabunga. Cowabunga. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Cowabunga. Uh, nice. So actually, um, you crush his head. Um, so he is certainly dead. Uh, and you can ride the body <laughs> up to safety on the ledge. Um, very, very, very radical. Um, all right, solid. Radical, dude. Uh, I'm just going to throw on uh, uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, 15 to hit. That does hit. All right. And it's uh, 2d10. Let's 
6 plus charisma 4. So 10 damage. Yeah, you kill him. All right, go sweet. ahead. Um, so you let out an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> bolt shoots out of it's a bolt, right? Eldritch Blast. Yeah, it's like a, a bolt of force damage. Yeah, so you let out a. <laughs> Um, and you can see the ripples uh, traveling down the sewer uh, hits the Sweet. chest of the ghoul and it splits him right apart. Um, yeah, all the ghouls are dead. Great success! Great success! Great success. <laughs> Pay him the monies. Um, so all three, are, all three are down. Or as you can um, hear me in the back, go. <laughs> uh, well, so after all that, <laughs> congratulations. Um, <laughs> as as everything settles. Um, Hugh will look at you, and uh, he'll actually uh, look at both Panda and Adam and say, you fools. And behind you, probably 200 feet down the sewer, you hear like a mad clambering of <laughs> sloshing, sloshing, scraping. Uh, it sounds like a lot of stuff is coming down. He says, run! So I'm running. I would do that. <laughs> and I started running. And I was running. As, I, as I'm as i running, I, I grab him and pick him up, our dwarf friend. Yeah, excellent. And probably move slower than he would have moved on his own. <laughs> yeah. He, he, looks at you, he like, you, you, you can put me down. I can probably do it. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Where are we running uh, so to? Do you want to keep holding on to him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he's he's struggling a little bit, but he's like, I guess fine with it. And I'm like, relent, old friend. I'll save you. I'm here to yeah. save you. Um. So I'm gonna have everybody. Actually, I'm gonna roll a percentile real quick just to see if they catch up. Where this? Where's uh in location? Where is this coming from? Uh, 200 feet behind you down the sewer. Behind uh, us. Okay. Where, I'm sorry. And you have in? 100. You have 120 feet to go until that elbow. Left okay. Hand turn. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'll bring it back. Is it 200 feet behind us from yeah. where we came in? Say what now? No? Is it from where we dropped into the tunnel or behind that? Oh. oh so you okay. dropped you dropped in probably about the midway point and okay. they are behind you. We dropped into a T. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And okay. uh, so you're heading left um, towards the exit and they are All further right. into the sewers. Um mm. King uh, Gideon would like to do something while we're running. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he stops for a second, turns around, and then um, kind of throws his arms towards the water and tentacles shoot out into it. And um, he casts Shape Water. Oh, cool. And um, freezes uh, a 30-foot stretch of it solid. Oh, shit. Uh, just just base level, or does it rise up? or what? what do you no, want to I, can't, I can't raise it up, but I can freeze the center of it solid, so okay. maybe it'll slow him down a little bit. That whole hallway of water, the four-foot span there, turns into ice for 30 feet. Yes. Awesome. Nice. That's good, because I rolled a three for the percentile, so that means they were catching up quickly. <laughs> uh, can you let me know when we reach the elbow? It, wait, we're, we're going toward, like, an elbow. You have, like, 100 feet to go until that turn that Adam saw you all kind of saw but Adam was definitely looking at um that when his fireball or firebolt um, mm -hmm. went down the hallway and we're only so, as fast as our slowest person unless we want to yep but you say never Adam. slowed them down yeah so I would uh book it yeah so everyone's gonna be running I'm gonna give you just kind of normal speed um so you're so gonna make it yeah Go ahead. Yep. What I'm going to do is um, you guys are going to make it to the elbow before, uh, but you do see a mass of figures starting to file down. Uh, some of them are getting up from the ice that they've slipped on. Um, others look like faster than the others. They're actually clambering on the side of the wall as they go. Uh, and it looks like they're actually on all fours. Uh, so these seem like a faster, more mobile type um, beyond the plain dribble that's coming down the center. So uh, you make it to the elbow. Uh, as you turn to the left to go down the elbow, uh, you do see light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it's probably about 40 feet further. And um, go ahead. I started running. Are there running any again. other like branches of the tunnel from that point? Nope, it's hard left. Just a, This is the exit. Hard left, straight to the exit. Got it. Yep. Okay. 
Yep. Uh, I will. Yeah. I will say. Does anyone want to roll a perception while they're here? Sure. Sure. I mean, I might as well. Of so course. let's do that. Uh, and then I'll, I'll just say a lot of this campaign is going to be perception based. So okay. at any chance you can get, roll perception. Okay. So I've got nineteen. Cool. Okay. Gideon's paying more attention finally. So he's at sixteen. Excellent. He's he's snapped out of his fog. Yeah. He's, he's combat ready now. Um, twenty one for me. Okay. Oh, nice. So anybody yeah. anybody that beats a uh, good. I got twenty. Oh, good. Yeah. I got six. Like nat nat twenty or no? Okay. Six. All right. So six. any anybody anybody ten or above, I'm gonna have you notice that. Um, at the exit there, there actually is a large uh, kind of barred grate above that is held by a chain. Um, so it looks like you could, as if you pass by, nick that chain. The gate I'm would throw an eldritch blast at the chain. I wouldn't do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's get out from yeah. under it first. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that one as a mulligan because uh, I would probably get oh, out. It's not first. closing. The, it's not closing the the in, it's us in. It will close no. you in if you hit it now. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Okay. We have, we have I'm going to hit it after everyone's that. through the okay. great. Better, better choice. All right, Jeez. so um, roll roll the hit on that. Wait, wait, before oh, he does that, can yeah. I do something to even possibly slow them down even more? Nope, you don't need to. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, 13. This will work or not. 13, okay, yeah, it hits. Um, so as you guys all pile out poof, into the sunlight, um, solid turns around quick, throws a blast, poof, hits the chain, and it slams the gate shut. Um, as you all are kind of just standing back up, you hear a crash against that gate, um, and you see arms, legs, teeth, uh, all kinds of, a whole pack of ghouls um, uh -huh. slams into the gate, um, some bigger than the ones you just fought. Uh, good, good choice to get out. So, hooray, first encounter done. <laughs> um, so as you exit out into the sunlight Hugh will let you know that uh, you have successfully left the city uh, we are now yes. in the refuse pit uh, which we mentioned in the camp in the uh, session last week oh this yeah this is where all the city's shit ends up um, literal shit waste bodies everything uh, this is where everybody goes to dump their stuff so um as, the as you, is where he belongs. Yep. So as you're there, um, it's uh, probably about a ten foot wall on either side. Pretty pretty steep grade to it. Um, it's about fifty feet long. Um, it smells putrid. There's gray water everywhere. There's bodies. There's. Um, I like to eat the bodies. Trash. Oh. Um, I okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. While he's doing that, I press to digitate fucking clean fresh air blowing down on me okay you, you have your own little dyson fan blowing on yeah you. um adam i'm actually gonna are you immune to any kind of poisons or anything um depends on what you're thinking because this is like <laughs> rotten, rotten this is no i've eaten rotten i've flesh. eaten rotten i yeah i'm immune to eating uh the poison of, of rot okay because this, like, this is gross disease and gross things stuff that I have not come in contact with and I'm not immune to. This This is your run-of-the-mill, you're eating rotten human flesh that's been mm -hmm. sitting in shit. Okay, so yeah, you're good there. I'm good. All right, go, go ahead. Pile, yep. right? There's, there's, a, there's a human, you know, that looks like he was his throat was gored by a dinosaur. Okay, uh, yeah, I jump down on that and I start just stuffing my face with his parts. <laughs> okay. For the love of God, man. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anybody want to react to that? Bluntness. I look back and say, Daddy hungry. Yeah. Hi, you, literally you throws will, that. Uh, he will look at you and just kind of, uh. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll save you some. Just no, not what I would have chosen, but all right. I'll um, save you some if you wish. He walks by like it's not happening and starts heading out of the pit. You uh, Being careful not to step in fucking... Well, he tries not to get. Oh, you're in it. Yeah, there's nothing you can really do to avoid it. Uh, it's, it's, like, it's like shin deep water mixed with sludge. Mixed. All with... right. Any puddles of water or anything like that that get in my way, I just shape it out of the way because I don't want to step yeah. in it. It's all a mix of gross. So you're just in it. 
<laughs> so uh, as you guys are, I mean, Adam, you can stay back and eat. Uh, but as you guys uh, start to head towards the end of the pit, uh, you notice a creature, um, a kind of creature shape, um, eating as well. Um, looks like he's chewing on the carcass of a triceratops. Um, he's a good sized creature. Uh, and Hugh plants his chest, his hand on the chest of whomever is closest, probably whatever solid. Um, and he says, stop. Do I see this as well as I'm feasting? Uh, yeah. And I say, Ooh, that looks delicious. Stand up and move toward with the group. I, I joined the group. And he, uh, Hugh says, I would not advise interacting. He says, I've seen this before. That is a creature to behold. It's best that we try and move around quietly and uh, move past. Well, you know best, friend. That is what I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to have everybody roll a stealth check. <laughs> you <Hmm>. bore at? <laughs> Boy. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> is this where the pussy pain <laughs> for Havaholics uh, to roll a d20 and then add your dexterity? So we're doing dex roll? Is that what you said? Dex save? Uh, you're going to do a stealth check. 15 for, 15 for Gideon. Okay. 10 for Azaria. 18 uh, okay. for Shavaz. Yep. 21. Excellent. For... 12. Okay. So that's everybody? Uh-huh. Did anybody so. fail at 10? Oh. No. 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 Okay. So everybody makes it past. Um, the thing that you... I'll take a picture of it, or actually I'll just save it. Uh, thing <laughs> it's you, in my yeah. living room. I'll take a picture quick. Uh, to, let me hold on. Pose. The thing that you just uh, snuck past successfully, wise choice, uh, was an Odiug. Um, it's a, a uh, large aberration. True. Oh, um, my people. Uh, nope. This is not your people. <laughs> well, I, I, I have aberration blood. Or ab- oh, shit. Aberra- well, then, yeah. You, 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 <laughs> you got tentacles. I mean, he could be a distant cousin. <laughs> Where's the post? You see it? It's coming. It's okay. coming. I was snip- I was snipping. Hold on. Hold Cousin. yourself. Here he is, the, the chapping lad. Oh, yeah, he's no cute. He's cute. I want to ride it. Yeah, he would have <laughs> fucked you up. Um, it's not as cool as a pig, but he's all right. Yeah. So he um, is chomping away uh, as you guys sneak by. Clomp, clomp. Uh, one of the tentacles does kind of come to attention real quick, but then immediately Ooh. dives back into the... my tentacle comes to yeah. attention. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he smells some pheromones in the air. Uh, he goes back and just starts devouring the carcass again. So um, you make it past. That's very good. Yay. That would have been a hard fight for you guys. Um, all right. So uh, Hugh lets you know that we have successfully exited the city. Um, I would very much advise never coming back because once he finds out you have left, uh, I don't know as if he will necessarily be sending scouts out to find you. That's not the biggest priority right now. Uh, but if you ever show up at that city again, it will be bad for you. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. Um, so he will. You're welcome. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> um, <laughs> Panda, your armor set was done, but it is still in the city, so that's going to stay there. Awesome. Um, your guide, Thanks, your, your your super guide, uh, he is not going to help you. Uh, he's still back to the city. Uh, and then all your supplies uh, that you're going to need for the forest uh, or the swamp is are back in the city. So um, you are exiting the city. <laughs> And um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a tough sledding from now on. Now but we um, wait, wait a second. this is how we so, die. So Hugh will take you a little bit past the city limits um, to an encampment, um, and he says this is where he's been set up uh, ever since being excommunicated from the city um, for uh, not performing in his last endeavor, and he points to his stump. Um, the royal guard. Uh, dis- disavowed him and uh, 
sent him out onto the city so, or out into the jungle. So um, he brings you to his camp and says that um, he himself was a guide and uh, he would help you, um, but not for free. Uh, he can certainly try and help you find, he's been hearing the same rumors you have of the death curse. Uh, he knows of a certain area in the forest that, um, or the jungle, I should say, it's a jungle, uh, that has been known to have some kind of dealing with this. Uh, he says it's a journey to get there, but uh, he has a rough idea as to where to go. I'd like um, to um, pay him 10 gold for his services. Okay. He takes the 10 gold, the sack, and he says, that's, that's not enough. 10 gold is... I'll give really... him 50 more. 50, five, zero? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you heft the sack of gold towards him. He has all 60 with him. <clears throat> and he says, that'll do. And so he takes your 60 gold, agrees to usher you through the jungle um, up to a certain point. Um, he says, once we get uh, to the heart of the jungle, I cannot go any further. Um, every dealings that I've ever had in the jungle, everyone says, stay out of the heart of the jungle. Uh, that is why I think this is where we will have the best luck at finding what's causing this disease, but I cannot go in. Okay. Friend I'm Hugh, I, is there uh, not uh, another settlement nearby or any place that we may purchase just food and traveling supplies? There are many settlements along the way. Um, as of right now, I can give you a few things. I can also, if you wish, you can either foot through the jungle. Um, my suggestion would be to take the canoe along the river. It's much faster, much safer. Uh, yes. this, this jungle is known for its creatures, its undead, its dinosaurs. It's very dangerous to go on foot. Okay. What so about Camp good. Righteous? It looks like our map, there is a Camp Righteous. Uh, he says that is a destination. Uh, it's actually along the way. Um, if it's something that uh, you wanted to head out down the river, it is something that he knows is, is down the river. I like to take his, you know, you know, take whatever supplies he offers, and I like to use a, a nature check to see if I can find other food that we could procure okay. in the in the area around surrounding uh, on our way to the canoe you as we go to. Yeah. If we're agreeing um, to go to the canoe, then I would like to do that on the way. Check. Yeah, please. Okay. I think I think I, I, uh, Azaria should. Have um, seen I'm plus six on nature, so let me just roll if you would. Yeah, go ahead. That's uh, twelve. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Um, so you actually, with that 12, noticed that um, the bugs of the area, uh, there's, there's good-sized mosquitoes, uh, hornets, everything flying around, but they seem to be staying away from a certain tree uh, that's dripping this, this kind of sap. Okay. And um, you, can, you can notice that. Okay. I'd like to pass it on to the group. And say these mosquitoes look a little nasty. I lost limbs to these things before. Oh, great. I didn't actually, but that's going to be my thing. I'm going to tell, it's always going to be a story. Kind of like the Joker's I lost, face, I lost right? A limb to it. <laughs> it's like the Joker's face. Yeah. <laughs> I lost a limb to a Tyrannosaurus Rex one time. Yeah. I'm just going to make sure that I've got my mage hand like constantly. Doing what now? Me? He's got mage hand. My, yeah, I got mage hand. I'm just going to use it to swap mosquitoes away from my face <laughs> constantly. All right. You're definitely going to need more than that. I um I take the sap, um, tell everybody uh, that the insects are staying away from it, and I take it and I um, slather it all over myself and my pig. All so right, he, I do the same. He will, he will second that. He'll say he's been out here for a while. Um, that, that tree is known to produce a sap that um, is a natural insect repellent, um, and he highly advises that you... Um, I ask Hugh, does he have any sort of container I can put some sap into? Yep. Uh, he'll produce a uh, just a water pouch, okay. um, and he says... You take this, it'll, it'll last you probably about 10 days worth of sap. Okay, so I'll get fill it up with sap. Okay, so that's great. That's very good. That was a key factor. If you guys didn't do that, you make tons of rolls to not get sick with insect okay. madness. Um, I'm immune to disease. Yeah, it's not a disease. Um, it's it's just a, it's like a poison. Talica pulls out her... her... Talica. Okay. Boom stick. Yep. Starts to play a little tune and, and looks to the looks to our guide and says, Are you sure you can't lead us just a little bit further? Persuasion twenty two. The performance, right? Yep. 
fails. He says, wow. absolutely not. Okay. We appreciate your help. Thank you. Yep. Uh, he says, um, I have a couple things here. I have a couple days of rations. Uh, I'm going to have my canoe. Uh, I can I can offer you some, but I, I myself also need to survive. So um, I'll, I'll let everybody have two days rations. And um, Adam, Adam will be the one that holds the sap. But mm -hmm. um, I would apply that once a day uh, to keep the bugs away. Um, or else we'll start making some rolls. My my so, uh, Jim pops out of my chest and drops in the pig's mouth. The pig drops into the sack around his neck. Excellent. I am now just a torso on a pig. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anybody else want to make any rolls or anything before we set out? Um. See about this being no. health, uh, health points right now. What's up? I, I'm assuming we haven't taken any short rests, long rests, or anything like that, and I'm pretty you're sure the damage. Nope. Okay. Uh, what what he says is we we can hang out for just a short rest if you need to recoup anything, health, okay. spell slots. Okay. Um, but I'd like to head out before it starts to get dark. Damn it. Awesome. It's a new day. Does a bird show up? Does a bird show up? Yeah, a raven. To... Oh, yours. Yeah. Yep. Let's, uh, let's do that. Yep. What's um? What's my roll again? I need to write this down. I'll write this down. Five d twenty. Yeah, that sounds right. Let me tell you in a second. And I cannot find the maps that I saved. That is Adam. Five d twenty. Okay. Let's see. Oh, 15? Hold on. 12? 12? Is that a metal die? Mm -hmm. I can tell. Oh, it's like hitting the freaking 20? table hard. And last one. 61. Nice. Okay. Add 61 gold. Um, a raven flies in. So it took away drops the, it. the 10 from before and then add yep. 61. Yep. So a raven will fly in and um, drop a pouch of gold at your stumps. Okay. Um, and whatever I would have had coming into this journey, I don't know, but I have an additional 149 gold right now. Okay. Yeah. Just keep track. I'm not going to keep track of the gold. It's too much, but cool. you, you go ahead. I'll trust you for that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, all right, so um, Hugh says, if everyone's ready, uh, let's let's set sail. Definitely. Let's do it. And we're off. And you're off. All right, so everybody hops in the canoe. It's actually a, a pretty large canoe, um, enough to fit at least 10 people. I move all the way to the back so it gets a little more uh, tailwind. Okay, yep. You act as a human sail. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to be heading down the river um, Shoshan Star. And um, as you're traveling along, say World uh, Star? You... what's that? World, World Star? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> World. <laughs> um, as you head down the river, um, Hugh will fill you in uh, on his backstory. Yeah. And um, he'll let you know that um, uh, the story of how he lost his arm, the uh, Royal Guard was on a uh, search and rescue uh, for one of the local guides um they hadn't reported back um found the guide the guide had been killed uh looks like he'd been bit right in half um a large tyrannosaurus rex was in the area uh they got into a battle um, two-thirds of the group died in the battle and um hugh's arm was bit right off so uh returning back uh, he, he did make it out alive with a couple others and made it back to the city and the um, Grand Wizard there was uh, very upset with that uh, they didn't make it back with everyone um, and so he was excommunicated out of the city. Harsh, harsh uh, job security. Mm -hmm. So um, He lets you know that uh, he actually grew up here in uh, the area so he knows this forest very well. Uh, sorry, this jungle. Uh, he can tell you that this 
death curse seems to be fairly new a uh, few months and from what he can tell is that anything that uh, same thing uh you've heard before anything that has died recently and is brought back uh seems to have a timer on it at that point uh and after a certain amount of days it's, it changes per person but the they perish after that and they're not able to be brought back. Um, and he lets you know that uh, throughout the jungle here, uh, you'll run into quite a few different species of critters, uh, some ranging from very friendly all the way up to these big dinosaurs. Uh, there are different races of humans. There are goblins. There are Lobster folk, he calls them, uh, which he says are the amalgamation of lobster jam together. Um, and so he says, this is not a safe place. This is a place you need to be on your toes all the time. Um, so as you head down the river, you will uh, come up to a, uh, from what you can tell, is uh, a camp. Um, one second, let me get it together here. You guys want to, as you, as you roll up, you like I said, you see an encampment. Um, you guys want to do any rolls or anything? As we're on the thing, I just want to um, pull out, a, um, sort of just recite from memory, I guess, some mm -hmm. religion about uh, Ishodo. Okay. okay. One of the uh, gods of Cholt area. Yep. Um, so I start talking, you know, just start teaching everyone about uh, Ishodo. Okay. You want me to read some stuff or just keep... just. If, if you want to, go for it. Sure. He's born out of a fragment of the consciousness of being of Uptau when he created the myriad nature of spirits of Cholt from pieces of himself, initially buried underground. He came from the Asho tribe. Um, he hates Tabaxi. Uh, that was his main enemy. And um, he was defeated by them, but despite his defeat... Um, he sank into the shadows and was reborn again. So I teach everyone about Ishodo. Can I um, roll religion to see if anybody would like to become a follower? Absolutely. Natural 20. Oh, hell yeah. And that's plus, um, if it matters, plus six. So 26. So if they are willing, um, they have to be willing. Uh, you can convert anyone to a follower of your choosing. Okay. Not even of a little. I, I don't. I, you're trying to convert us? No. Yeah. Do not care. No. He's, just, he's just preaching to you guys. He's preaching. Uh, he, he was very interested. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Uh, when we're getting up towards the uh, the camp or whatever, uh, does it look like there's people there? Is it populated? Hold on one second. Let's. Uh, there's. I just posted in the. Uh, I posted in the uh, chat there. Uh, the show yep. though. So all the information is in there if you want to uh, peruse it. Oh yeah, I'll read up on it. Okay. Um, so um, he will let you know that he is very interested. Yeah, he's supremely moved by your information and i uh, would love to uh delve into that with you excellent so we talk about that for the trip yep all right so you um death you asked if there's anybody there yeah yeah yeah. so not that you can see um there is no one on the shore um it is an empty <clears throat> encampment uh, what you do see as you round the river bend uh towards this encampment um uh, is this here it is a giant statue figure built into the mountainside um, of what looks like a man with a crocodile on its back. Hot. And uh, between his feet there is a large entrance that looks like it goes into the mountain. Um, and like I said, normal encampment right around. Um, there's no fires burning, so it looks like it's been abandoned for a little bit. Um, you actually come upon the abandoned Riverside camp strewn with wreckage. The tents are all moldy and tattered, and all the permanent structures appear to have been burned to the ground. Two intact rowboats are tied off to the shore dock. North of the camp is a ridge, built into which is an 80-foot-tall stone statue carved to look like a man with a crocodile on its back. Between the statue's feet is a stone archway leading into a dark tunnel. 
And to the left of the statue is a crude animal pen with a small panicked bird running around inside of it. There are no other signs of life. Ooh, what kind of bird is it? I would like to... <laughs> I didn't hear you said you cut out. I would like to free the bird. <laughs> so you, are you guys... Uh, while she's while she's doing that, I want to um, if we dock, then um, I want to tether those canoes to ours and move them all okay. to a different location down the beach. Okay, so is yeah. everybody cool with stopping here at the camp? Yes. Yeah. Sure. All right. So you will pull up right up onto shore. Um, Adam, you can go out and start lashing the uh, rowboats to the canoe. Um, these are small four-person rowboats, mm -hmm. uh, but you can certainly lash them to that. Um, and he will help you move that further down in that inconspicuous spot down the beach. So hidden behind some trees. Yep. Um, so a anybody want to inspect anything? or you, Amanda, you said you wanted to go check out the bird? Yes. I come trotting right. back up the beach to the uh, group. Excellent. Um, I, so... I go with uh, uh, what is, uh, Azaria. Sorry. Yep. Same. Okay. So you guys enter the encampment. Everything seems fairly normal besides that it's camp um the statue is very large again just a guy with a crocodile on its back um as you are kind of exploring this area you do hear across the river some rustling um you notice actually i'm gonna have everybody roll perception real quick uh something wonky just happened with the camera again what do you mean? On stream? On your stream. I was pulling up the picture of that thing. So every time I look at the chat, it does that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was looking at the picture of the guy with the um, crocodile on his back. Such a tiny picture. It's really small. It's hard to see what's going on there. Um, <laughs> what are we doing? Perception check? Just roll a perception check. Yep. Okay. 13. 4. <laughs> 10. Um, I read a 14. 16. Gideon's almost back to 12. not caring about anything. I got 12. Okay. Um, who made it above 15? Oh, 19. Okay. So, robot, robot you made it above 15. No, I did. 19 okay. total. So, anybody that made above 15, so just robot, uh, you will notice across the river, uh, you hear a rustling, and you're the only one that notices, but you kind of spin around <clears> and, <throat> and see the mask, a wooden mask of what looks like an ant, um, but it is human sized. Uh, and it dips back down into the foliage, and um, uh, you, you actually kind of notice another one dip back down. So you're being watched right now um, by these masked creatures. And I'll alert the group. Like, we're not alone. Okay. So um, Wabu will let everybody know that uh, he, what he saw, um, that there were two masked figures. My pick, my pick throws up the gym and I can become full form. Okay. Anybody else doing anything? No. Mm, not right now, but I'll start paying attention. Okay. Yep. Damn. Instead of just wandering around. So, um, Hugh will actually step forward and say um, uh, that he knows what that is. Those are the uh, goblins. Uh, there's actually a tribe of goblins that um, live pretty close to here. Um, what he can tell you is that um, those goblins are part of the... Uh, I can tell you the tribe in just a second. Uh, they are part of the Biting Ant tribe uh, of the Batiri <laughs> goblins. Um, mm -hmm. They are actually... A, a formidable force. Uh, many adventuring groups have come out here and, and been captured by them. Um, they, they are long-standing creatures here in the forest, in the uh, jungle, and um, it, not something necessarily to be trifled with. And um, so, what he will also tell you is that he also recognizes the area you are in. Um, he tells you that. Um, let me scroll to it real quick. This is the former Camp Righteous, and that um, there was an adventuring group long ago, uh, a few months ago, that came here to uh, inspect the statue or the whole area. Uh, they heard that there was treasure locked inside, 
and um, unsure of what treasure, but um, what they know is that the goblins have always had an interest in this area, but have always been a little too afraid to enter the temple. I like to roll a history check so I can learn more about this camp and these, this tribe. Yeah, absolutely. 12 total. Okay. I'd also uh, like to roll for history. Yep. Uh, 16. So Hugh will tell you both. Um, he does know of a um, old story that comes with the man and the crocodile, if you'd like him to tell it to you. Yes. Absolutely. So he gathers you all around um, and tells you, in the early days of this world, man stood by the bank of the river frightened. Crocodile raised his head for the water and asked, what troubles you, cousin man? Man said, I must cross the river, but I fear to enter the water alone because it teems with your brethren. Crocodile replied, it's true. You would not be safe, but I can carry you across the river safely on my back if you promise to return the favor. Man agreed, and the crocodile bore him safely across the water. When they reached the far bank, man asked, how can I repay you? And the crocodile replied, I wish to see the realm of humans, but I fear to go there alone because it teems with your brethren. You must carry me on your back across your realm. Man had been tricked by a promise, but a promise is a promise. So he carried crocodile safely on his back across the entire realm of humans, a journey that lasted many years. He also swore in his anger that never again would man and crocodile be friends. And so it has remained to this day. That's pretty so sweet. This, this shrine here is um, to commemorate that story. Um, the man and the crocodile is a very, um, it's, it's, it's used a lot in local kind of folklore uh, as a story and also as a, you know, you help me, I'll help you, but also be wary of that. I like it. So, um, I have to look over at Gideon and say, Yeah. You want to get him on my back? <laughs> <laughs> I, I giggle like I just did, kind of like, <laughs> No, friend. I, I'm fine walking. <laughs> okay. Um, Anybody else want to do anything before I move to the bird? I want to go to the other uh, tentacle person um, of Halux and say, I think we could, we could make something happen here if we get on my back. What are you talking about? Well, from what we learned from the story, I think that um, that these little goblins, they, uh, they're used to this symbol. If we could symbolize this, the, the carrying across I, uh, I can hoist you on my gotcha. shoulders and uh you know we could maybe approach these these cats isn't it somewhat of a double negative since you're already on the shoulders of a pig <laughs> no the pig's on my shoulder right now actually yeah he's, he's in the oh. shoulder right now uh yeah sure i'll get on your back do that tentacle thing it looks cool do that tentacle thing yeah, don't you mean? have like like tentacles coming out of your mouth right I mean, they're hanging over my mouth, yeah. There you go, okay. They're always there? Yeah. All right, I want to put um, Apalix on my back and walk to where um, Wabu Lop showed us where the uh, the people were popping out. Okay, they are all the way across the river. It's probably... Oh, shit, they're all the way over there? Okay. Yes. Um, I can make myself look like a crocodile. Yeah, do that. Like, uh, like I can just use a minor illusion. Can I can I can I swim this area? How deep is the uh, water? Uh, it is deep, and the river current is pretty strong. I would not advise getting okay. in it. Probably not a good idea. All right, let's go. Right. So can, the bird. can I do an? <laughs> can I do an uh, arcana check on the statue? Yeah. Okay. So seventeen. So uh, at base level, there is no magic. Um, what you can tell is that further inside, you do sense a magical presence. Inside what? In the temple itself. Okay. Well, let's go check out this chicken, and then let's head and... Okay. 
Y'all see the size of that chicken? It is, uh, <laughs> as, as you approach the cage, it is a rather, it is a chicken, but it's a rather large chicken. Uh, see? He is um, pretty ornate for a chicken, um, as, as ornate as chickens can be. Uh, he's a fine cock. Um, mm. so, and I say, I say, uh, I, I want to eat that I, cock. I would like to. Um, <laughs> I, would I, want like to I want that cock in my mouth. What was that, Amanda? So I would like to use speak with animals. animals. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. How can I do that? You just do it. Oh, yeah. Well, you just do it. Yeah. Yeah. You just I can, do it. Um, so it's a, I know it depends on its intelligence and stuff, but um, I would like to ask um, the chicken um, why everybody left and if it um, can give us information about the area. I uh, thought you were about to say, why can it, why did it cross the river? Yeah. Why did you cross the no. river? <laughs> Mind your fucking business. Why did you cross the river? I would have I said, I would have said it was the <laughs> first or before it was the egg first. Um, <laughs> so the chicken is pretty dumb. Um, he's oh he's God. very good looking. He's uh, dumb, he's, but beautiful. He's a beautiful cock. He's, dumb, he's a beautiful, dumb cock. So, I know that game. Yeah, <laughs> I know, many, many of us do. So, um, what you can ascertain is that um, he the, the chicken was caught to be lunch. Um, it's only survived this long because of uh, the bugs that it's been able to eat as they've been crawling in and out of the cage. Uh, and he has actually been feasting well uh, yeah. because he, he's big, big now. Um, I would as... um, I would like to um, I can I would like to persuade the chicken to come with us. Okay. So um, that uh, Telka's um, invisible chicken has a companion. <laughs> oh, you don't know that yet, but keep keep going with it. Okay. Yeah. Can I persuade the chicken? You can try. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite DM line of all time. You can try. Uh, roll you can try. a d20. I'm going to roll a... I got a this 20. bird would make a oh, fine yeah. mount. Just roll a 20. <laughs> I rolled a 20. All right. Um, fuck, I wasn't expecting that. All right, so... You the fuck out of that chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful, dumb chicken. This beautiful, Coming dumb up. chicken. Um, I don't have any stats or anything for this chicken. So as of right now, I will get that to you. But as okay. of right now, uh, he is just a chicken that's going to follow you. Um, okay. Go ahead, go ahead and let him out if you'd like. Um, okay. I do that. And um, you pop, pop the chicken pet, cage. Yes. Uh, and he, as, he soon as, as soon as she pops the chicken cage, all of a sudden you hear from right behind me is... As, as, it's like a chocobo. chocobo. As the big chicken exits <laughs> the cage, um, it immediately snaps its head over and looks next to Panda and looks like it's just staring there. You hear it. You hear it. And the chicken answers. <laughs> then he gets a chicken boner. Yeah. And he, start, he, start, he picks up a little bit and he starts strutting. <laughs> I, I, I look over. I look over my shoulder, and I'm like, "Not now." Does anybody want to notice that? Yeah, Gideon doesn't notice it. <laughs> so Pan is, Pan is talking to the ground. The chicken's interested in the ground next to her. Um, he, I guess, brushes it off, um, and the chicken looks up at um, Azaria, <laughs> and um, then. Books it boom, right into the temple. Oh, okay. <laughs> Talek is like, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. You and your your speak with animals is still kind of up, and uh, you can hear him saying, "Come, come, 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 come." Gobble, he, gobble. He, right, gobble, right behind gobble, the, gobble. the wrong, real wrong chicken, speak. you hear <laughs> boop, 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 as it like goes down the tunnel. Like you hear okay. the sound down the tunnel, and I'm chasing after it. So, would you guys like to enter the? Uh, Temple? Yes. Yes. Gideon already am. Makes an exasperated sigh and shakes his head, but starts following. If the stupid chicken thinks it's a good idea, it's probably a good idea. Yes. Definitely. Well, I would turn to the group Definitely. and says, Definitely. "Interesting Throwing fact: <laughs> birds pee and poop out of the same hole." 
<laughs> and walks into the temple. Dude, we learned that last campaign. We did. We did. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as you guys enter, um, there are torches uh, that light your way, so no need for dark vision or anything. It's lit, uh, mostly. Uh, there are darker spots, but everything that's important is lit up. Um, as you enter in, there are uh, some ledges further up. Um, and it looks like a big staircase um, that are about seven feet in in step. All right, I'm just going to use my perception to uh, look be on the look for any trap. Do what now? I'm going to use my passive uh, perception. Yep. Um, it's what is it? It's like ten plus your passive wisdom, so it's just thirteen always. Perfect. Okay. Um, so kind of keep a lookout for that shit. Yep. As you uh, enter in, um, you passively perceive that um, there's actually um, the ground is is all dirt, um, but in in a spot it looks like it's a little more sunken in um, in about a five foot circle. Oh. Use my mage hand to start digging digging some of the sand away from it. I like to run an arcana check while he does that. Okay. Um, nothing arcana wise, nothing that you sense okay. here, but further in you can feel something. Okay. Um, solid. As you dig around with mage hand, um, you hear like a twig snap, um, and it doosh, falls in uh, to a big pit, uh, spikes all at the bottom. Um, so that nice. was just a pit trap, just a easy, easy pit trap. Nice. But um, yep. Um, so everybody can avoid that if they like. They can jump in if they want. No, no, no. no I'm good. Probably say no. no. Gideon stays near the back of the party, and any torch or anything like that that's not lit that he can see, he just immediately lights it with prestige station. Okay. Yep. There's a couple with that aren't that, lit, but the, yeah, go ahead. The snap of your your tentacles, just like yeah. Um, excellent. So you guys can circumvent that pit. Um, there's probably about a one foot, the hallway is about seven feet wide. So there's about a one foot ledge on either side. So you can feel free to scoot along okay. the sides. If I'll, you'd scoot, like. I'll scoot. Um, your next area that you enter in, um, into a next, it actually opens up quite a bit. Um, and there's <clears throat> the hall, there's, there's a hallway that goes kind of far down, it's probably a 20 foot hallway, um, but it actually opens up quite a bit. So the, the hallway itself is only about 10 feet tall, um, but other than that, it's about a 20 foot ceiling and it seems a little more open up top. Um, so go ahead with uh, whatever you'd like to do. Um, just perception of what else can we see here? Um, just an open area? So yeah, the hallway HM, itself. Nothing there? The hallway itself, um, picture it um, like it's a narrow hallway, probably about two feet wide um, and about 10 feet tall. But above that is all wide open. Um, it's it's not oh, okay. open. It's not an open it's room. Open. It's just an open yeah. above that hallway. Correct. So we can see yes. the sunlight and all that coming down. Yep. Okay. Talaga just kind of stops and says... I got a bad feeling about this. I think I have to levitate and uh, traverse the hallway completely. Okay. So I levitate. Yep. And I move. So you you are successfully above the hallway, and you want to go past. Yeah, I just don't want to touch the ground as I walk through the hallway. I just want to go through the hallway to wherever the next section is. Okay. So I'll, uh, uh, you can do that. Okay. So you a... up, Sorry. over, down. Um, and make it to the um, entrance of a archway. Okay, and walk through. Is there like foliage on the ground, or is it just like dirt? It's just dirt. Just dirt. Can I? I'm gonna. I'm do just gonna a... walk down the hallway. Okay. While I'm looking at bail for traps and stuff. Okay. Should I project? Anybody else doing the same? You know I. Yeah. Oh, Amanda um, also has this. Um, yeah, for my, own, I can project an aura of boarding 
that shields um, my allies from destructive magic. Okay. I'm going to do, as I walk, a press to... God damn it. How do you say it, Dad? Press, press to digitation. Press, press, <laughs> press, press... God damn it. Press? That, that P word. A press. Yeah. I'm going to, like... I'm going to cast uh, potassium. Yeah, I'm going to cast, it like, a, just a small breeze to, so like, um, push up, like, loose dirt hmm? around us, like... It, seem, it seems like a normal just... hallway. Okay. <laughs> Gideon waits for everybody to do what they're gonna do, and then he'll okay. decide. Yep. So you, solid and what about you guys? We're heading down the hallway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just walk down the hallway. All right. Um, anybody else following? Nope. I'll follow. Okay. So I need everyone that is in that hallway to make a <laughs> deck save real quick. Okay. Yeah. 13. Wait, say that again? Sorry. Make a deck save. 14. 17. 10. Okay, great. Um, so everyone in that hallway, as you're walking, um, blades come out. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. There's actually, you can, well, you can see there's little cracks along um, a blade swings out, and everyone that beat a 14, it just grazes. You're going to take 9 damage. Whoever did not beat 14 is going to take 18 damage of slashing damage. Ouch. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Gideon kind of chuckles and says, ouch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then <laughs> levitates over. Um... And from what you can tell, solid, um, you were in the lead, correct? Yeah, looking for these exact traps. Okay, yeah, well, you, you didn't see it. Um, so <laughs> um, you can make another roll if you'd like, but your passive perception did not see them. Mm. We'll just stay with the passive perception for now. Okay. Do you want to continue down the hallway? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody else doing the same? No, Wabu stops. No. <laughs> okay. So I was just yeah, solid right. continuing down the hallway. No, nah, we'll stop. Gideon. Okay. Someone else obviously <laughs> needs to go in front. Great choice. So <laughs> anyone else want to volunteer? I'll uh I'll roll for perception. Okay. You have to take your Seventeen or sixteen? Perfect. Okay. Um, so what you will do is you'll you'll look down the kind of crack in the in the hallway, and you'll see a blade mechanism in there, primed, ready to swing out. Um, what you can tell is that uh, you probably could wedge something in there to stop the blade from swinging out, um, and you can certainly jam something in there if you'd like. You're gonna have to do a strength check to do so, just to make sure it holds. But um, as you're also perceiving, you can see just weight pressure plates along the hallway. So if you had proceeded forward, you would have had to make a check every time you stepped. Okay. Does anybody have any room? Can I take an, can I take an action then? No, I can't take it. I can't touch it. Never mind. Yeah. Or, Adam, you're already across. Well, I know. I was going to cast a rope trick so I can get out of there. Uh, but um, so you want to do... touch it? Yeah, I was, I was thinking about casting rope rope trick, but I have to be able to touch the rope, so I'd have to go back in there oh. to do so. Yeah, but I am levitating, so I could. Yeah, I I land over by uh, by Shavas, and I'm like, this looks like a real pickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I pull out a bottle of wine and said, "You want a drink?" Yeah, yeah, sounds good. So I share the. Did the you? Like levitate or something across, or yeah, yeah, he levitated. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, I didn't know that. So yeah, you made it across. Yeah, I would said it, but I'm well, everybody else is getting chopped up down there. So I have a dagger with me, um, and uh, I'm willing to I'm willing to sacrifice it. I'll take this dagger out and jam it into the uh, to the slit in the wall, 
Mm -hmm. And I'll roll a strength check on that. Yep. <laughs> I rolled a one. Oh, <laughs> to seven oh, altogether, good. but <laughs> okay. So you <laughs> actually You're strong as fuck. You take that dagger and <laughs> jam it into the crack, and it looks like it's stuck. And now you've got carpal tunnel. Nope. <laughs> looks, looks like it's looks like it's stuck right in that crack. Do we witness okay. this? Yeah. Do we all see this? Yeah. Hmm. You want to keep going? So sh should I have added my bonus onto my saving throw? Or if it's just a one, it's a, a one. one. Unfortunately. Yeah. So. But yeah. yes, it, you, you would roll. It's well, I would be set all together. It's, it's not a save. You're, you're not doing a dex save. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's I got a strength, you. Or a strength save. It's a strength check. Strength save. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yikes. So you roll the one. Now, if you would use like eight. acrobatics or, or athletics, rather, you could have, right? It's a, it's a straight check. It's not okay. a save. Gotcha. If, he, yep. if, he were, gotcha. if that blade were to swing out, dex save, then you would add your save and throw. So I, uh, I turn back to the people behind me, and I say, it's all good. I've got it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> After you. Would you like to move? Yeah. No, I'm not moving. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not moving. Yeah, it's whatever you have in your equipment. Kidian kind of <laughs> leans up against the wall next to the, the two foot opening and says, You need another dagger? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got one on me. How. Did did you toss? It? Did you like throw it at the the hole, or did you like he, he plant jammed, it in? He it? jammed it right into I the jammed side it. of the hallway. How close am I to him? You're right next. You're, you're right down the hallway. I have a dagger. I'll do the same thing. Okay. Like actually, no. I take that back. I'll take the hilt of the dagger that I have, and hit his dagger into it further. Okay. Because I witnessed him do it. Yeah. And you less, don't trust me? Less than, less than forcefully. <laughs> well, Gideon, I'm gonna, okay. Looks like he just this? carefully sets it in there. How okay. About, how about this? No, before yeah. I do that, I'll do a, I'll do a uh, perception check on my turtle friend here to see if you actually believe that that dagger was in there. That's not a thing. Yeah. That's not <laughs> a thing. No, that's not a thing. Mm. Okay, because I'm safe, I will hit it with my hilt. Good idea. Okay. Okay. Roll a strength check. <laughs> Two. That's a five. <laughs> okay. Um, so you go up to it and boom, bash it in, and it does actually go further in. So you <laughs> you secured it in there. <laughs> okay. And why don't we have like our actual strength character do that? <laughs> I've, I've actually got pretty good fuck. strength. I just yeah. I rolled poorly on it. Yeah. Side note: um, While Gideon and I are drinking this wine, I have <laughs> a um, as an artificer, I have the ability to learn four infusions, and one of those I've chosen is wine, a jug, alchemy wine. Can I reproduce this wine next time, or do I need to roll for that? It's like I understand I the recipe know. of this wine, so I can reproduce this wine. Oh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah, you get a taste, you get a taste for it, and you, you could He's... replicate it again. Okay, and this is the wine from the lady that has the disease. Yep, yeah. the fine vintage. Very good. Yeah, he's, if, he's if, someone, if someone, what I'll do is, if you are to replicate it and try and pass it off mm -hmm. as wine, mm -hmm. um, to someone who is knowledgeable of that wine, I'll have them make a check for it. But um, to common folk and yourself, it's the same thing. Okay, could I sell this wine? Sell the wine that you're producing. Mm -hmm. Yep, like I said, as long as it's someone who's not like super knowledgeable of that wine, okay. um, then yeah, it passes off as great wine. Okay. All right, you okay. guys go ahead. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple steps backwards. I'm going to take a deep yep. breath, and I'm going to take off sprinting, and I'm going to do a series of uh, flips and cartwheels. Flips and shit. Got it. <laughs> flips, hot flips and shit. Hot flips. <laughs> Hot flips. And I roll a 15. Okay. Uh, make a deck save. That's my deck save. 
Nope, make a dex save. That was, that was just a check. Now make a save. Okay. 13. <laughs> okay. Um, you take nine okay. damage as a blade swings out. Your dagger did not stand still. Uh, <laughs> both you and Panna's effort was futile. You did not hit it hard enough, and the blade comes out. <laughs> kicks the dagger out and hits you for uh, eight damage. Nine Ouch! damage. Ouch! Shavas, you see that? I, I take a sip of I take a sip bunch, of amazing wine. <laughs> the turtle just did a bunch of flips and shit. Yeah, it didn't work. It did not work. work. No, it did not work. <laughs> so lucky that you did the roll you did because that was all damage. Um, instead of right. damage. I'm going to take my Iva dagger. Mm -hmm. Shove it in there. <laughs> okay, make a deck, uh, strength save. Okay. Or strength check, sorry. Check, yeah. Check a check. Check. Oh, um, 11. I am fucking okay. hurt. Um, so you push everyone aside, <laughs> fucking weaklings, and take your dagger and <laughs> jam it in all the way to the hilt. Um, it is, from what you can tell, securely in. Nice. But it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that one works. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking save was 10. <laughs> and the check was 10. <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> On one. Yeah. So you can proceed. Um, it is safe. As they come across, to say, uh, "You want some wine?" <laughs> They're all cut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Healer. So keep keep track of hit points because you guys just took some good damage. Um. All right. So you successfully make it through that hallway. Mm -hmm. Um. As you exit the hallway, uh, you are greeted by a uh, archway that leads down another hallway. Um, and from what you can tell, um, just seems like a normal hallway. This one, though, is encapsulated. Uh, there's no going over. Okay. So it's, hold on, just a hallway? It's just a hallway. Um, would there be a a way to use a history check to see if there was any sort of like, is there a map of this or information about this uh, layout or traps or anything like that that I could um, You could do anything? a perception to look for traps. But you not like could... a history, history check. History wouldn't tell you really anything. Okay. Hugh, Hugh can tell you that he knows this temple through the stories um, that it is filled with traps. Um, the ancient folk that built this wanted to protect what was inside. Okay, but no maps or anything like that. That'd be no shit. Deep knowledge. You said we're not calling, right? Yeah, I was just looking to see if I, I don't have any medicine score. I'm in, or I'm in great pain. I have less <laughs> restoration, but I don't have pain. anything Actually, like you. Yeah, so, okay, so I'm going to do I'm gonna do a couple things. I can use lay who, hands who, who on was, someone. Who was hit? What was it? Because I know I was hit. Who else was hit? Who I've been hit horribly. Yeah, seriously. Wabu's bleeding to death right now. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I would I'm like fucked to up. Use, um, I would like to use um, lay on hands on uh, Wabu. <laughs> please. Please. Lay your hands. So, um, I think it's uh, four times five. That's 20. Yeah, I have no way to heal anybody. I can remove I can remove poisons and such, but I can't uh, I can't heal anybody. You know what would have been great is if you were in the city, could have stocked up on health potions. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, solid. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be the go-to for like this thanks, entire solid. beginning. Thanks. Well, just keep in mind, solid needs to suck someone's brains. <laughs> Yeah, tonight. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. It's true. By the end of the day, someone's getting sucked. <laughs> uh, you guys were hit with eighteen, right? I was hit. Somebody was. Yeah, yeah I was hit I was, with eighteen. I was hit for eighteen too. Is that a chunk of your health? Oh, a huge. That's a decent I'd chunk like of my get, health. Yes. I'd like to give each um 
I wasn't sure if 18 would be like Calica a and um and let's see both of you guys I'll give you each 10 with lay on hand thank you the um, bleeding has stopped Gideon was also pretty injured oh, who was no you did you say oh I thought I don't know Gideon made it. He Sorry. Limited. excuse me excuse me Okay. Yeah. So, Ouch. Did I give him hit points? Yeah. Ten hit points. Better. Yeah, Wabu took it for that. Um Oh, I need I have twenty one hit points left. Oh, well you left the room so you didn't get any of my healing. Ooh. Get <laughs> buck, solid. Yeah. Oh. I'm also going to I'm gonna cast healing word on myself. Nice. Selfish. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cast it as a third level too. Oh wait, I have um no, I don't, never mind. Never mind. Let's see here. I bet I do. Uh, Drink some more wine. Yep. Adam's getting hammered. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Wabu would like a drink of that wine. <laughs> yeah. To numb the pain. Yeah, pass a little over to, to Wabu. Two. It's fantastic, by the way. It is. Here, I don't want him to have to move too much. I send a tentacle over and fucking... Oh, I, I do have five left because it was our level times five, so I'll give um, Avalix five. There. Okay. Uh, I cast Healing Word on myself for an extra um, ten points of healing. So <clears throat> I'm not fucking dying. I used all of my... Awesome. I used it as a third level, so yeah. <laughs> so everybody's getting topped off on health. Um, you enter the hallway or the foyer of the hallway, mm -hmm. um, and what you can tell is that it looks like a normal hallway. Um, glyphs on the wall, um, as well as on the floor, and some on the ceiling as well. Um, so go ahead. So we're going to roll an Arcana check. Religion yeah. check on the glyphs versus history check, which would be a better choice. Um, let's do history. Okay. All right. Let's. I will do history as well. Arcana's not going to do anything for you. You've already done a bunch of Arcana uh, checks. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Cool. Yeah. Um, Twenty-one. What you can. What you can tell uh, anybody above a twenty. What you can tell is that um, the glyphs that you see look recognizable. Um, and it actually depicts the story that you just heard of the man carrying the crocodile. Can I read um, all the, the pathway of these it, things as they're going down the hallway? Is there like a, a, a progression down the hallway of the story? Yeah, it's the, the hall, the story starts at the beginning of the hallway and it looks like it goes all the way down the hallway um, and concludes at the end of the hallway. So Gideon, you understand this as well, right? Yeah. I opened up a, a little mental, uh, two-way communication between me and Shavas, and I'm like, you're getting the story too, right? And I say to him, um, you're getting on my back, right? I, I don't think we need to do the get on the back thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go first then. Hell no. <laughs> Let's let the turtle go first. <laughs> Send the turtle. Send the fucking turtle. <laughs> I mean, the chicken already ran through, and it didn't seem to set off any traps. Yeah, speaking of that, you haven't seen the chicken yet. Uh, looks like he's probably ripped right through here. Uh, what about mine? I mean, that's up to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. We thought we, we're not talking about your made-up chicken. <laughs> you know nothing. You know nothing. I know that you talked to an imaginary chicken. I think everybody's know. realized that at this what, point. What are, we do, what are we doing in the hallway? Um... Am I still levitating? How long does levitate work? That's nah, over by now. I think it's only a minute. It's and it's the okay. the height the height the hallway that you're in is well, probably okay. from floor to ceiling is like ten feet. Because I'm oh, okay. Um, oh, it's what's the progression minutes, of the story? Like, I mean, are these glyphs like are they all on the floor <laughs> in the the story or something? This the same the same. It looks like the story runs parallel, ceiling and floor all the way down. Got. Okay. Um, what's the first glyph say? Is that something it's I need just, to worry about? It's just the. It's not necessarily that it's a word. Getting a story. Okay. All right. Got um, it. Yeah, I'll just start walking. Okay, you're going first. Yep. Cool. All right. 
Um, as you walk down the hallway, you make it about five feet, and then I'm gonna need you to make a con save. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Twenty-one. Perfect. Okay. So as you're walking along, um, you hear a rumbling, and you brace yourself. And as you do, um, a force comes down the hallway and actually blows you back to the beginning of the hallway. Um, Because you made that save, you don't have to take any damage, but you do get blown all the way back. I look at Gideon and I say, you should get on my shoulders. All right, let's do it. God damn it. (laughs) All right, tentacles ride out of my sleeves and from under my robes, and then I kind of cling to the... the mech's back on the other side of the pig, like the other shoulder. Yep. Yes. Um, I'm going to have you roll a while, while you clamber on the back. Um, your head is very close to the ceiling, but I am going to have you roll a um, perception check. Okay. Oh boy. We all know how good we are at this. 15. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so that makes it. Uh, what you notice is that all along the hallway, um, there's what looks like the hallway itself, the ceiling, um, has two worn pathways down it that looks like somebody dragged their hands down the whole hallway. Oh, I, uh, I send two tentacles up and then press them into the, where those drag marks are. And I clamber Perfect. forward. Okay. So as you guys clomp forward, uh, uh, mash of metal man pig and octopus um wow. adam's adam's feet are hitting the ground death's hands are dragging on the ceiling and you guys are traversing you pass that same spot you keep going keep going and you make it to the end of the hallway i fucking knew that statue had to do something all right cool what's everybody else do <laughs> 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 I high five and ask if there's any more wine. <laughs> so we get to the end and we drink wine again. High five. High five. Crack the high wine. five. Crack the wine. How long is the hallway? Uh, it's like 40 feet. So they saw us do this, but they did not move, right? Uh, I, I guess that's up to them. Yeah. I I tell, uh, uh, Av, what is it? Avalix? Avhalix. Avhalix? Um, uh, I mentally just tell him, uh, you have to touch the ceiling and the floor to traverse the hallway. Okay. Uh-huh. I lean the bottle towards uh, Gideon. I snake a tentacle out and <laughs> start taking a drink. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many people are still at the entrance for? Yeah, well, I'm okay. there still. Yeah, All I'm right, still there. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to get on top of the turtle's back and say, all right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I, I'm a sturdy going. turtle. I'm going. Yep. A sturtle. I'm a sturdy I'm do, turtle. I'm going to do yep. a spell. Okay. Before you Press do that. Press the digitation. It, hey, there you go. Press the digitation. Is uh, our, our robot and solid, are you guys heading down the hallway? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hand, hands up, feet down. Yep. Yep. Okay. You pass out. Mm. That's the way we like to walk. So, uh, <laughs> you guys successfully make it down the hallway. I'm gonna do press the, press the digitation. Yep. To where I am playing my instrument through the hallway and casting notes, these magical notes that touch as a sensory effect mm-hmm. along the ceiling as I walk. Okay. Sensory or physical push? It's prestidigitation, so it's not physical. That's like so you're so you're going down the hallway, <laughs> playing, playing the notes. Yep. Sounds like that's a said. commitment. Sounds like what she said. Panda, make a constitution <laughs> that's <what> saving. She <laughs> okay. For a little twenty total. Twenty. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you start to head down the hallway, five feet in, boom, get sent back. Roll for the chicken. Um, I would like to um, yeah, put a <laughs> on my shoulders. Yep. Yeah, and then venture down the hallway. Good choice. Talika gets up. She's like, 
she kind of brushes herself off like what the fuck and then looks at damn it amanda but i don't know your character's name yet i'm sorry 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 no it's yep oh it's on that screen azaria yes there we go azaria look at azaria and i'm like oh i see okay yeah i got you i got you and then i climb up on your back i'll do a uh athletics acrobatics Shouldn't to have get to. on somebody's, you shouldn't have to. Shouldn't it's have just to. getting no, on you're, you're literally back. just dragging your hands down the hallway. Okay, <laughs> I do uh, that. Okay. As everyone comes across, I hold the bottle out if they want some more wine. Yep. Yeah. That was a super simple puzzle that I'm glad you figured out. Um, it was literally just do what the story did and ride somebody's back across. So good. Nice. You're the man, Adam. Thank you. I I, I mentally high five you. Yep. Millie five back. Excellent. So, all right, as you uh, exit the hallway, you're going to enter into a large room, um, floor of this dusty 40 foot high, 20 foot wide chamber is littered with dinosaur bones, Ooh. webs stretched from the walls to a 30 foot central pillar coiled around, which is a narrow stone staircase. Its steps are covered with dust carved into the pillar are reliefs of a man carrying a crocodile. The reliefs follow the stairs to the top of the pillar which sits a large, beautiful ceramic jug. Mm. Is there any meat on these bones? I like jugs. Um, there are not meat on these bones. Okay, These are just bones. I'm on top of Wobbly Wop still. Let's go up them stairs and get that jug. <laughs> um... <laughs> chop, chop. Let's go up them <sighs> stairs and get that jug. So, um... hail no old steed. <laughs> yep, the uh, turtle squid combo head up the stairs, and they are traversing slowly around heading up to the top. <sighs> that's it? You mean that's it? That's what's happening. <laughs> okay. I stand and watch. The same. It is wide enough for one pairing to go up at a time, uh, but you can follow behind them if you can't go like too wide. Is this a dark room? Nope. It's lit. Torches. Lit. Fully lit. Okay. It's lit. <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit, fam. Is the chicken here? Yeah, I look in this dusty room all over the floor. It, like, is there chicken tracks through it? Or... There are chicken tracks all the way up the stairs. You hear the Ooh. chicken clucking at the top of the spiral staircase. Is there. One pair of tracks or two? There are one pair of tracks. Oh, nice. My uh, my appetite gets the best of me, and I just go solo up those stairs as fast as I can to get that damn chicken. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and make a, a deck saver. Okay. Um, Twelve? Okay. Um, King, King's like, okay. <laughs> as you barrel up the steps. Well, it's slow barrel. Uh, it's like. It's really well, I mean, yeah. As, yeah. as, you, as, for you, as fast as I can go. As you, at a hellacious pace for yourself, head up the steps, um, you are actually going to activate a glyph okay. on the step and take 22 lightning damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> and get blown off and hit the ground. Okay. I go stand next to him. I'm like, oh my god. Like, we all oh, see this, right? That looks uh, horrible. We all see this, obviously. <laughs> yep. Um, the turtle squid combo is about halfway up, still going up fine. When that happens, we stop. I'll do an arcana check. <laughs> uh, you can tell that there's magic. Magic. Uh, yeah. And at, there are glyphs. Very top. Yeah, and there are glyphs along the way. I look at uh, I look at Gideon and say, "Can you carry me?" <laughs> uh, no, but I thought you already figured this out, and then what? Uh, I'm hungry. I'd I'm like hungry. to step to the to the uh, very first step, or walk up to the very first step and do an insight check. Insight. Yeah. Investigation. Or, uh, investigation. Let's do an investigation. Yeah. Okay. Why is he so light? He doesn't. Like Fifteen. Him. Um, it's a step. 
You see glyphs on it. It's a step. It's a step. I get Gideon on my back. Yeah, I I, I climb back on. So you guys are pairing up? Yeah, you head up? going up the stairs. Yeah. Okay, you guys travel up. Um, you are making your way up. You're about a third of the way up. I'm kind of staggering other. a little bit because uh, the wine is kicking in. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, and then, uh, so you guys are making your way up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anybody else want to go up? It's a spiral staircase, right? Yep, around a central column. Like a central column. There's nothing behind the column. Just like straight up. Yep. Center of the room with webs. Yep. Got mm-hmm. it. No, I'll sit tight for a second. Okay. Okay. What? Amanda, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Just go stand next to the pillar. Um, I'm just going to go stand next to the pillar. Okay. It's like, hey, what are you doing? You're just standing at the shield base. aura. Come here yeah. often. Gonna... Hey. Um, so my, the first um, pair, the per- first pair will Wabu. make it to the top. Wabu and Solid will make it to the top. Um, and as you crest the last step, you are greeted to a smaller central pillar. And on top of that is an ornate um, uh, ceramic jug. I put a tentacle to reach it for. So it's not my own hand. I'm just going to use a tentacle. Okay. Make a uh, deck save. Selected the dice. All right, uh, eight. Okay. As you reach out, touch the jug, um, and you move it. Um, it lets out a shutter, and a mass of bricks actually fall from the ceiling uh, and strike you, and you will take ten bludgeoning damage. I'm not the. I'm not actually touching it. It's you. I'm ten. I don't give a fuck. You took the damage. You did the roll and took the damage. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> How much damage? Ten. Ten. Okay. You said this is a jug at the top, right? Yep. That's what you want to hear from your DM. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that touched it. I don't care if it's your tentacle or your penile. You can. What's Wabu do? It. Um, I just see him get crushed by a rock. I'm stunned. He's on your I've back, seen... though, right? No, no, we're not. We're not mounted up anymore. I realize I need to stand away from him. I like to uh, cast press the press the digitation. Oh, yes, I gotta get it. Press yeah, press the what? digitation. <laughs> Make the rock like smell to... like flowers. Yeah. No, I'd like to um, form a small like cloud of rain right over the jug where water would fall into the jug. Okay. It's fake raining on the jug. Yeah. Yeah, it's not real rain. Didn't do anything? Okay, nope. cool. It's no, fake it's rain. It's fake rain. It's not real rain. You can't <laughs> I know. It's not, it's not it's rain fake. cloud. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking outside the box, okay? Nope. I appreciate that. No, I like it. It's just that As it's, and I it's press not, the top anything. of the stair. Are you doing anything, Wabu? You're up there already. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, as Gideon and I sure. come up the stairs, um, I, I see sure. what happens to Ad Hollux. Uh, I'd like to cast Mage Hand One, you don't need to. from the okay. top step and try to uh, move the jar, jug off of the pedestal and, and lay it on the side of the pedestal. Like a, I get off his flat. back and step yeah. away from him. Yeah. Okay. So Mage Hand it. Uh, it does not move. Okay. Hmm. That's it in my turn. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I make a perception check to try to see if there's any uh any what? Any triggers or you know, like uh anything that is obviously like yeah, uh you can walk like right a up release for it. Trap light? Yeah. Go ahead. Seven. I'm just nailing this shit. It uh <laughs> looks like a jug on a pedestal. Hot. <laughs> It appears to be a jug. It it guys, <laughs> it's just a jug. So <laughs> this is jug, guys. You seen this jug? Seen these What's jugs? above it? Um, 
a cracked ceiling that looks like it's loose, ready to fall like, again. Like hot? Like it's ready to fall again. Yeah. <clears throat> is anybody at the top of this pedestal right now, or is everybody knocked off of it? Roll whoever, just somebody roll, because we're getting the. Okay, I want to roll our can check on it. So no, no, no. Roll, roll an inv roll a uh, perception. Perfect. Nineteen. Okay. Well, wow. um, actually, yeah, whatever. We'll make that count. Um, but what she's you can at the see... bottom of the stairs, right? Oh yeah, that's right. You're not even close. For you, <laughs> I'm I'm close to it. I rolled uh, yeah, a fourteen. Okay, you see a jug on a pedestal. <laughs> I'm gonna roll Arcana check on it. Nope. Just no? roll perception. All right, fine. Beat a fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm a thirteen. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to give it to you uh, <laughs> <laughs> through Panda's guidance because she rolled. She says, look at the base. And um, Adam, uh, who rolled the highest previously? Um, Wabu. Wabu. Okay. Wabu hears that and says, oh, yeah. So you look and on the base of the pedestal, you see a glyph of the crocodile on top of the man hoisting the jug. Huh. So when bitch. solids when solid grabbed the jug, he was not on Wabu's back. Correct. Okay. No, I was. No, you're off. No, I wasn't. Okay. Well, hey, we got what? this. You said you I have. Off. I have yeah, an no. idea. Did I have an idea. Anything. My bad. Wabu <laughs> said he. Wabu said he was. I thought Wabu said he was. when he got yeah. hit in the, the next head, turn. Yes. The next turn. Um, when I tried to clarify, turn. when I tried to clarify if Wabu got hit with those rocks. Because Solid was on his back, Wabu said, no, 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 he wasn't on my back. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah. Well, that was after the rocks hit. Okay, oh, well, I, fair enough. Then fair I, enough. The shit I never mm -hmm. I never got off of his back. Yeah, that never happened. Okay. okay. Well, then you grabbed it and no damage to anybody. Mm. The, whole, the whole mechanic is you need to still be on his back. Yeah. So if that, if that was the case... It. Okay, if that was the case, I thought you were off his back. Yeah, um, I think this will happen. I thought it was the turn after. I was going to try to back away from yeah, it. Yeah, no worries. Avoid damage. Um, so if you were still on his back when you grabbed it, you successfully lift off. Okay. So yay, no damage for solid. So what do we do? Uh, you picked it up. Drink it. <laughs> Drink it. Drink it now. Is, is there liquid inside of it? There is liquid inside of it. Mm. Just, just pour it all over the both of you. Just upend it. I will let you know that the uh, it's a ceramic jug. Um, do you want to check it out? I want someone that knows. Take a look at it. Let's hop off of these steps. I would advise you stay mounted. Stay mounted. Be my mount. Yeah. Eat. I, well, Mounty. I need someone to look at this. <clears throat> so all right. Let's, so let's just assume everybody made it down. Okay, we're all down um, at the bottom. Yep, and you can successfully right. dismount each other. I want to use identify. Yeah. I want to cast identify on it, please. Perfect. Okay. Um, um, the contents so inside, not the jug itself. It's it's all one Shazam. Okay. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna use divine sense to see if um, you won't have to. I'm gonna tell you what it is right now. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um. So through your identify spell, mm -hmm. uh, which is overpowered. Um, I know. <laughs> That's why I got it. <laughs> I did that in your campaign. Um, I know. So you learn that this is an alchemy jug. Um, mm -hmm. It's 12 Which I'm pounds. proficient in, by the way. It's 12 pounds, whether full or empty. And when you move it around, you can hear sloshing liquid. Um, you can use your action to name one liquid, either acid, poison, uh, beer, honey, mayonnaise, oil, vinegar, I've already got water. that fucking... That's already what I have. Oh, well, it's, a, it's another... It's another... Another one. It's another, Okay. Yeah, it's another alchemy jug then. I recognize exactly what I have in my uh, hip. Yep. You're like, I know what this is. Mm -hmm. Guys, guys, this is an alchemy jug. You can do whatever you want to. You make mayonnaise, you can do oil, you can do any kind of like wine or beer. What is this mayonnaise? Poison? You keep <laughs> Fish oil? It's horrible. Don't, don't eat it. 
What? No, mini scoop. Can I? Can I? Uh, <laughs> cool can I have it be a, a greater healing potion? Uh, cool. No. Have to do that. Mm -mm. It can be acid. It can be poison. It can be beer, honey, mayonnaise, oil, vinegar, fresh water, salt water, or wine in varying amounts based on what it is. Mm. Can I have? Can I have it filled with cerebral? You cannot. You can choose from the list I just gave you. <laughs> or you can have nothing. <laughs> You made it sound like it was all pretty simple. It's it's pretty simple stuff in there, but it could be whatever you want out of that list. Where's and chicken? At the chicken's right next to you guys. Uh, he's he's happy that you guys figured everything out. Um, he is now. Nope, oh, you can't do that um, unless um, <laughs> unless um, Zaria says, "Yeah, go ahead and eat the chicken." No, if you touch my chicken, I'll cut you. Why is it your chicken? I she be funny it. Yeah, she rolled in that twenty to persuade him. Oh, so okay, okay. He's yeah, all jammed up on it. Master chicken, you bastard! Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> bastard! Um, chicken is delicious. Get... Chicken is delicious. Um, so now you hear it constantly in the background. You hear two chickens going. Bah, 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 bah. I may kill a chicken. Like yeah. Can you make acid in that alchemy? <laughs> you can. Yes. I am about to. <laughs> and let the chickens. Here. You can cook the chicken, put some mayonnaise on it. Yes. <laughs> cook it in oil. You can cook it in oil. Um, so this is the list of so what four, it can be. Four infusions for mine are um, poison, wine, oil, or mayonnaise. So those are the this ones is, that I have. This Why is mayonnaise everything on this that can list? make. Two, <laughs> two gallons of mayonnaise? Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. That's the max amount. You can make a smaller amount. Jesus. No. Two Always two gallons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who makes two ounces of mayonnaise? Yeah. <laughs> I want two gallons of mayonnaise now. <laughs> I would like it to fill up with a uh, thing of water. And... Uh, I'll let you know that this is going to be extremely important because if you get dehydrated in the jungle, you're going to start to have bad times. Yes, I'm going to drink a bunch of water right now because I'm thirsty. Who's the, who owns the jug? Um, solid, technically, right? Solid touched it first. There you go. Just a I'm not carrying around a 12 pound jug. That's yeah, it's fine. 12 fucking pounds. Jesus. It's a, it's a good sized jug. Right. My pig can carry it. Here's He's the, already uh, carrying my other jug. This is what. Um, so, depending on what cork you pull from the jug, that is where or what determines what fluid comes out or, or substance, I should say. Cool. <clears throat> Solid. Um, because I was carrying you, you now owe me a favor. Man, what is, is that? That's how the riddle, know, or that's how the story what, goes. Yeah. I don't know what court. I don't know what court. Now you have to carry him to the world of but... mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> the the mayonnaise a, world. Yeah, <laughs> it's Jesus. so squishy. Oh, that's cool as fuck. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna put. I guess put it in my backpack. Oh, is it like random? His jug? No, you, you choose whatever cork you pull is what material comes out. Right. Just gonna throw it in my backpack and be like, "All right, let's keep going. out of here then." All right. Um, so you can now freely exit the temple. You have secured the treasure in the temple. Um, that was the treasure. That was it. This fucking temple. I had that on me yep. the whole time. Yep. You're, you're the man. <laughs> well, now we got two. <laughs> uh, we got two. So this this one can just create more stuff than yours, apparently. No, uh, same, oh, same amount thing. of stuff. I just had oh, to pick cool. four. I had to pick four. So, oh, this can do all of it. Yeah. Um. So I have another <laughs> encounter. It's probably gonna take another half hour if you got that. Or... I'm down. Uh, I'd be down as it long actually, as I the can... encounter can take either a half hour, or four seconds. Uh, as long as I can take a quick pee, I'm good. Yeah. No, go for it. I'll. I, what I'll, What we'll do is, um, you guys. Are no. Exiting. No pee breaks. No pee breaks. Yeah, but you guys are uh, exiting the temple and hanging out in the courtyard real quick. So okay. Uh, yeah, that poop will go out. Right. Right, how much wine do you want to make? Uh, I just want to pour like a muff into like a little cup. Save what we can use from it. You can. I'm not sure what <clears throat> it is on that. Hold on. Does it's, this replenish? Uh, does I it don't replenish every think day? that you can pour it out and, and restore it. I don't uh, think you can, like, okay. Constantly. So 
rules as written, that can be used once a day per liquid or, or substance it creates. So it says once the jug starts, it can't produce a different one or more of that one that once it's reached its maximum until the next dawn. So, so we, it's a, for the rest of the day, we have now have two gallons. You have eight gallons of water. You've, you've, no, for the rest of the wine. day, you can now produce up to a gallon of wine. And uh, that's it? Other than that. Or water. Can't, no, it's just wine. Because he just oh. pulled up wine. So because now because Sala drink. just poured a cup of wine out of it, you now can now create just wine. just wine for the rest of the day, up to one gallon. So you want some mayonnaise? So, 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 so drinking wine all day. So, so we can do... Eight gallons of water. That sounds pretty you reasonable could do eight for gallons the party. Of water tomorrow. Right, right, right. I could do eight gallons of water right fucking now. Adam also has the same jug. He could do, you know, he could pr produce two gallons of mayonnaise if you really want. Mm -hmm. Why would you make eight gallons of? Uh, I guess we could boil it. What? The Twelve gallons of salt water. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much water you will, through, you know, through desalinization, but. Um, the salt water makes no sense to me. Uh, I don't know how that. Yeah, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. I figured. So I figured mayonnaise has food. fat, so it's a, it's a, you know it's enough to sustain people for eating, for uh, calories. And then I have yeah. oil for cooking. I have water for drinking, and I have wine because I like to for drink. merriment. Yeah, uh, I would say the honey would sustain you more than the. Oh, yeah, that would have been smarter. Yeah, I didn't do that. Didn't think of that. But you can only make one gallon of honey, but that's a shit ton. Of honey. But honey's more. I mean, but mayonnaise is protein. I mean, it's egg white. Yeah, no, I mean, in a scheme of things, you, you, I'll let you survive on mayonnaise. That's just <laughs> that was my plan. <laughs> that was my plan because I'm fat with party. no limbs. Yeah, there's six of you in the party, so I mean, you could. That's a lot of mayonnaise. What a, a quart of mayonnaise each or something? Yeah, Whoa. every day if you want, and I'll let you survive off. Okay, that was my goal. Was like have mayonnaise but for. But like eventually, seconds. I'm gonna give you like heart disease or something. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I'm gonna clog your arteries. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. We survived 45 days on eating just mayonnaise <laughs> and wine. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. We, we, we put it on banana leaves. We're not heathens. Yeah. I wonder, can you mix the honey and the mayonnaise together and make some sort, of, Stop, some sort of some sort of delicious wow. concoction? Honey, that would never be. Mm. <laughs> what I would do, honey, is, honey. I, I would actually do like I would put the honey and the beer together, and make like a mead. Oh yeah, yeah. We can yeah, only do one. You, you can't do both. Well, you have a jug. Yeah, but we've got two jugs, man. Oh mm. shit! You could do yeah. that in conjunction. What I would do actually is I would make. We can make some honeys. <laughs> I'd make eight <laughs> gallons, eight gallons of fresh water and twelve gallons of salt water. And boil it, and then you got like. The fuck are you gonna do with salt water? Why don't you just make eight gallons of fresh water? Well, you, you boil could, it. You could do sixteen salad. gallons of fresh water. If you do both jugs. Or we could mix uh, mayonnaise and water. Mayonnaise and drink acid. it. <laughs> mayonnaise and poison. Mm. <laughs> and just make it Miracle Whip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> whip. <laughs> whip. Here, whip. Uh, Okay, everybody's back. Everybody yep. peed. Okay, so um, as you exit the courtyard, uh, you're going to hear a uh, Chick. battle cry. Uh, oh. A goblin is going to swing down and grab the jug that you just secured. Oh, fucker. Uh, you cannot save it. You, you cannot save out of that. It just happened. Um, so the goblin swings grabs the jug and successfully lands all the way across the i don't know it was a long vine or something all the way across the river and um what? you see you see him and his friends hold the jug up and then run into the into the jungle god damn it fucking spider-man to cross there yeah i don't know i don't know the you know a squared b squared of that but he made it across <laughs> Fuck those goblins. I guess we lose that jug, fuckers. Uh, um, is there anything I can do? We can with... get it back. Is there anything Let's I can do during the moment? Uh, you could chase after him. Could I cast yeah, a spell um... the jug? Nope. Okay. It happens quick. Okay. Because I was going to enlarge that jug and have him just like crush him under his weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be cool, but no, it just happens. Okay. Um, you can either chase them or say goodbye to that jug. 
We're, we're Jason. Just after it. I look, I look to you. Um... I'm as fast as I can, like. Hmm. 20 no, feet. I, I, I will say that there is a uh, tree that has recently that is long enough that you cross the river safely. Safely. Okay, I'm going fast. 10, 10 feet per yeah. second. <laughs> fast. I look at I I look at Wobbly Lop, and I'm going to cast Long Strider on him. <clears throat> you now have an extra ten feet of increased speed. Go get those fuckers. Okay. I would send more than one person. Just to... I'm Gideon, Gideon's going. I would well, like to go. Azaria will follow. Uh, like I said, I'll, I will let you all succeed uh, across that tree. Yep. 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 So done. yep, let's do it. I only picked Wabi because uh, oh, get these fuckers. what I've noticed is his dexterity is probably higher. I'm just like, hmm. Okay. It's good move. Double move. Good move. Um, all right. So, everybody's across. Mm-hmm. I will have you um, forge through the jungle real quick. Uh, and you exit out of the thicket there into a big clearing. Um, it's big, big, big. Uh, quarter mile long either side. Big clearing. Um, as you exit that and enter the clearing, you see a camp built. Um, a large tree that's bent next to the camp. Um, and you see a lot of these uh, little wooden ant-faced goblins running around. One of them has the jug and enters a tent at the center of this campsite. Burn that bitch down. That's exactly what I'm looking at. Hold up. I like <laughs> tents. Anybody want to go in the tent with me? No, not again. <laughs> you keep your tent away from me. Who's that fireball? Throw a fireball at it. Are there any metal parts in the jug? The what? Sorry. <laughs> is this jug metal at all? Don't do fucking heat metal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, no, there are no metal parts. Are they wearing indie metal? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I hate that spell. <laughs> I love that spell, and I hate it. I love you <laughs> receiving. You use it to, to its ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to hate it. <laughs> um, so as this is all happening, you'll see um, this person, creature, exit the large tent where the jug was brought. Um second. She is. This is Queen mm. Grabstab. Queen. <laughs> Queen Grabstab comes out of the tent and holds up the jug. She is very proud. This is what they've been coveting uh, in that temple, but were too scared to go get. Um, this this jug will be used. There's been t- stories told in the goblin folklore of this jug. Um, it's the bringer of life. It's the bringer of mayonnaise. Um, How far away are these guys? They're a good distance away. They're a couple, probably 250 feet away uh, at the center of this camp. Um, Feel free to make rolls right now, um, perception and stuff. Uh, What you can tell just at a base level is that this encampment is about a 100-foot diameter circle. Um, And amongst them are probably the queen, probably 15 adult males, um, and then 20 um, females and children. All dressed in the same kind of garb as the queen. Less less ornate. But <laughs> Gideon forward. starts marching forward, hood up, tentacles writhing out of his sleeves. Okay. I look over at um, Talica. And I say, can you cast something to make her smell differently? <laughs> the one you've been casting all day. Yeah, Rest all of the station. Yeah. Basically, the it one can create, it create a harmless odor. I look to Shavas. I say, yes, of course. I cast what's the alter. What's uh-huh. the range on the spell? What, are, what are you thinking? Um, the range away. is. Range 
change his line to Hang on, I'm looking up. For sure. Feet. Yeah, that's why I'm getting closer. So, can I do a religion check? I happen yeah. to uh, have studied some religions, and I yeah. think I might know <laughs> something about these folks. Go ahead. Plus two, 19. Nice. Okay. Um, what you know is that um, these goblins are part of the biting ant tribe. Um, they worship the jungle entities um, of which the ant has been their kind of spokesperson, I guess. Um, Totem? Sure. Um, <laughs> they protect themselves against other creatures and carnivores um, by creating these mobile camps. Um, that's what you've heard. Uh, you don't under really understand what they mean by mobile camp, but um, you know that that is, is the story of the uh, biting ant tribe. So uh, use a prestidigitation to Turn one of us into a giant ant. No, 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 no. Just hold That's on. Right. Just hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It, it doesn't work that way, though. Like, I'm, it's, casting, it's I'm casting I'm casting Alter Self to be effect. the queen. I'm casting Alter Self on myself to look okay. exactly like the queen. And I want you to cast Presentation to make her smell differently so they think she's not the queen. Mm. Mm. Does that work? Sure. I had to successfully roll, or no? She has not. to be no, ten feet away from the queen. Closer. Yeah, you get closer. So I, you yeah, get closer. Um, okay, so I'm going to approach the queen. Yeah, sneak gonna move up. up. Yeah, sneak up. You're gonna... No, I'm. I'm. No. You can't really sneak. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Is, I'm not gonna like sneak. I'm, I'm gonna openly approach the queen. You will make it within eighty feet. Uh, towards the edge of the camp, from what you can see, and a hail of arrows come stopping your progress. I cast Alter <laughs> Self to look like the Queen. Okay. And I approach. Did the, the arrows hit me? No, it hasn't happened yet. Is that what you did? You just walked in? Because I'm not casting. My, I'm not wasting a spell slot if you're gonna fucking just do this shit. Yeah, she walked. She walked towards the camp and right. got stopped. All right. Enjoy. Whoa. Enjoy your death. Whoa! 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 whoa. <laughs> enjoy your death. Whoa. Actually, I should ask you first, how far away was I from the camp? 250 feet. 250 feet, yeah. We're really okay, far so away. Okay, so my, my, my walking distance is 30 feet, so I'll let you I approach, approach 30 feet. Yeah, we're not in combat. I'm not worried about 30 feet at a time. Okay, I'll let you approach, so... And when you, get, when you get 80 feet away from the camp, or, or the queen at the center, so you're right on the edge of the camp, uh, the arrows come in in line right in front of you, halting your progress, or keep going, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to hear what I was going to do? I know what you're going to do, and it's very cool. Uh, she's not allowing it, though. <laughs> How do I know? I'm, I'm doing what you asked me to do. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, if you let me approach first as the queen, I asked if you could do that. I didn't say, like, do it. <laughs> like, get up there and do it. I said, can you do it? Would you do it for me? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm the queen. I start walking up. I announce in their tongue. Do you speak their language? Um, it says you can alter your voice. You need to speak their language, though. And oh, they speak. They speak common. Yeah, mm. that works. I, I thought they spoke only goblin, but yeah, common. And works. so I say, the queen is a pariah, a a beast from the gods. I should talk about voice. No, no, that's, that's common. Sorry. <laughs> I'm speaking her voice. The queen is a pariah, a beast from the gods. She is here to trick you. The jar is not clean. The queen is a fake. I am your true queen. I will cleanse the jar for you and bring it to you so that you may revel in its bounty. And I'd like to cast precedent digitation on Shavas. And I say, these people behind me have shown that she is fake. It is a ruse, a demon, a pestilence on the plague. Roll deception I... with advantage. Okay. Mm. 
Gideon's roll with him. is an 18. Let me see what deception is there. Does that beat it? 18? Yeah. Okay. Deception is, um, shit, minus two. 16. They are confused. Everyone around the queen is confused. Mm -hmm. um, do, we, do I see that? See what? Confused. Them being confused. Yeah. They're all confused. They're looking back and forth between the two. They know that this queen that they were just with has been the same queen that they've been with forever. Um, but now they are confused at this new coming queen that... Are you doing this whole smell shit? Yeah. Okay. Um, this queen... The, the queen that's already there smells different now. Um, as with real ants the pheromones that put off and all that shit. Um, this queen smells different now. So that, that's where they're starting to get the doubts. Like maybe this, this queen isn't what she seems. And I see that is the right immediately one. speak up and I say, it is true. It is true in common, by the way. It is true. You have been deceived. Your queen is standing before you. I, I, I shush her and say, Goodbye. shut up. You're not yeah. of us. You're not our people, and you do not get to speak. Good choice, because they were getting aggressive towards Panda. They don't. They don't know who you are. They don't know nothing about you. Um, Stand down. As as Adam puts his hand out, some spears lower. Um, probably good to just let him go. Talica steps back. <laughs> <laughs> These people. Um, so they're they're confused right now. They're not fully hook, line, and sinker. But um, there's doubt now. Um, I use prestidigitation to oh, kind of it's the spell of the campaign right now, <laughs> dude. It is. Uh, I, I I make like a slight breeze around Adam so that his clothes kind of flutter, and also um, I want I, I'm gonna make his voice a little bit louder. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. use minor illusion to make it look like the queen is kind of like not quite looking like the actual queen like adams looks more like the true queen so like alter okay. her face slightly so she could have like uh different markings on her. Uh, yeah change your face in like a demon or something like have her contort there you go um, i would I'll do a little more subtle. i'll just i'll just change yeah, the markings it's, it's on her subtle. face so as these guards are looking back and forth they're they're noticing that the tribal tattoos that they all have are different on the queen that's standing in front of them than Adams. Adams are familiar. Uh, they recognize the patterns. Um, the ones on the queen now are starting to look unfamiliar. Uh, the queen will, the real queen, will address you and, and say, uh, enough of this sorcery. Uh, and she pulls out a horn and blows it and um, all the serv not servants, all the guards are uh, start to look a little panicked um, that horn isn't necessarily something that's used a lot the women and children all enter the tents uh, in a hurried fashion and the guards draw spears and are looking around uh, at the clearing around you uh, seemingly waiting for something and I say to them, saying, have I not been bountiful? Have I not provided for you? Have you not provided for me? And I kneel down in front of them and say, um, we have been here together forever, and I am at your mercy. If this one queen you see is the true queen, then you may have me. But I attest... This queen is a false, is a fake. Roll. Uh, uh, before he rolls, I'd like to use a bardic inspiration point on him. Okay. Roll. And I will actually play a tune as he speaks his kind words to these ants. Ready for this? That will hurt your cause. Oh, you want to, if you want to play yours, then go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let it help your cause then. Okay. <laughs> it's an ant tune. Is it Adam and the Ants? Is it like... It's... Uh, was it Goody Two Shoes? 
key to do kitty tissues. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Um, so I will have uh, with Panda's awesome music and Bardic Inspiration. Yeah, I'm gonna have you roll performance, Adam. Performance. Try and convince. Yep. I'm gonna have you try and convince okay. them. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna have you try and or mm, persuasion again. Okay. Persuasion again, and uh, roll with the Bardic Inspiration and um, advantage. Yeah, you get you get a uh, what is that? It's a D4, I think, at this level. Yeah, I think there's two. Um, so my roll was a six. No, it's a 1D, it's a 1D8. 1D8. Oh, so my roll was a six, and I got a plus one with persuasion. That's with advantage? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you okay, get advantage. Cool. Oh, nat 20. What's oh, up? <laughs> with a 1D8. <laughs> you can see it. You can see it on the screen. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. This can be added after seeing the roll. Nice. Nice. Oh really? Um, nice. Twenty eight, yeah, motherfucker. So twenty eight. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. So after that performance, uh, the biggest of and the I guards, kneel down. Yep. The biggest of the guards, who looks like he's probably in charge, um, turns and rams his spear up into the gullet of the queen. Ah! And uh, he proclaims that uh, he will not be tricked. And uh, the queen lets out a guttural Aah! and uh, drops the wow. jug. And um, and the jug shatters into, no, the, no. <laughs> into a pile of mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my tentacle to grab, to, to grab hold. Um, so as... Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm, you're way back there. You're 250 feet back still. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm right next to you. I'm using... No, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna have everybody go up. All right. Um, well, I mean, whatever he wants to do, sure. But I, I would like to like grab the jug, pick it up as queen, and present it to the to tribe. Yeah, Adam. Adam's closest because he's right there. So I mean, I'll let him. I'll let him just grab it. Uh, solid. It still is your possession, but Adam can grab it. Um, and I present and to the build. tribe and say, like, this is our bounty. This is our bounty. This will sustain us for years. Just like keeping the role of the queen. Yep. And I set it um, down on the ground in front of me. Okay. Um, and I can like whisper to Solid or whisper to um, as F. Halix and say, "I got a jug, man." <laughs> you want to you want to leave this jug with them? Not necessarily. No, I want them to think that no. I'm giving it to them as queen. Okay. It's keep it, keeping the role. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're cool. Um, because that horn was blown, um, everybody else is still on guard. Um, and you hear a rumbling coming through the forest. I want to pick, sorry, up, the fucking pick up the horn and uh, put it on my hip. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, what, what would you say for stand down? I don't know how that works. Un, um, you can't unblow a horn. You I, suck I would, in the horn. You can't would, unblow a horn. Would, <laughs> all right, because I want to wrap this up, and because it's the best thing I've ever seen in D and D, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have them all. You can command them all to return to their tents. Um, from what you can see through the clearing of the jungle, is a full adult Tyrannosaurus Rex is starting to barrel towards the camp. Oh, that that horn is a last ditch effort from the uh, biting ant tribe, and what it does is it attracts any local dinosaur towards that sound is there i mean is it they did not have like a, a catch to stop it this no, tribe not that you know of so now the, the, the t-rex will kill the whole tribe option. not that you know of okay so <laughs> you can roll for some stuff yeah mm, i'd like yeah. to roll for that because i mean it, it doesn't make sense that there's no way to stop it i'd like to do a history roll to nope. find out that to Just find the oldest ant on, on, no i'm not just do a perception because, like I said, I want to get this done. And it's the coolest yeah. thing I've ever seen. 18. All right. What do we charge you? Yeah, an eight. 
My rolls of shit, except for one. I got a nine. The one that matters. Ooh, I rolled a nineteen. Oh, what are we good. rolling for? Just Plus perception. Perception. Find out perception. Where T-Rex. Mm. perception. Shit. Perception. Night twenty-two. <laughs> nice. Nice. I got fourteen. Okay. So what I will say is I'm just saving a couple of um, everybody that's I'm just gonna say everybody um, notices that as everybody's clambering into the tents that the tree that is next to the mm. campsite that's bent over looks like it has some large vines attached to it that are going towards um, eight <coughs> around <coughs> Can hear that? Sorry. Um, so what you notice is the tree that's next to the camp uh, has large vines attached to it that are mm-hmm. attached to eight points around the campsite. Huh. So the vines are going to diff- eight different points from that tree. There's a there's a circular pattern uh-huh. around the camp, and they're at eight different points around the camp. There are vines that all the way up to that tree that's bent over. Okay, I'm gonna get one of those vines and climb it. Mm. I'm just gonna get inside the circle. Mm. I'm gonna strum the vine like a fucking banjo. You, you. All right, let's do this because, like I said, I want to pull the vine. Uh, You notice it's very taut, very taut. Like it's there's a lot of tension between the vines that are mounted and to the tree that's. Yeah, I want to be like boom, like a guitar string on it. Mm. Yep. And can I reach all the vines at my speed of twenty? No. It's it's around a hundred foot area. How many so how many are there? How many strings there are, are there? And can we pull them up? You could release them from the ground. Okay, that's what I mean. Like pull them away from the ground. Yeah. Now okay. do this strategically. There's a dinosaur. Giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Barreling down. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me hand this to you pretty much. Um, so the way, the stories that you heard about the mobile tribes are mm-hmm. that the um, biting ant tribes, what they do is for safety, their dinosaur or anything that comes to attack the camp or anything, um, they actually build these encampments on top of a giant tarp of greenery, as you can see here. And if you notice in the top right corner, there's actually a mechanic that when the um, cords get cut, the mechanism oh, is released. Oh, it's a trap. It's literally, the whole camp turns into a giant ball that gets thrown a thousand yards into the... And we know this already, yeah? Or no? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, yeah, you can ascertain that. Because somebody did it... Robot the tree was right? leaning. Hmm? Did, did I did a religion. You did a religion check. Okay. Well, but yeah, you know, to try to understand their background. Yeah, I'm just going to say that you could you kind of put two and two together while you're staying. Okay. And now so, I will I will allow you to either save this tribe and tell them all to get out of those tents and trick that trip that trap when the dinosaur is on the tarp, or you can do a two birds one stone and launch dinosaur and goblins oh i immediately uh i immediately no, uh, it goes to, the only one knows it's wabu right because he's only wow. rolled high enough to proceed Wabu's okay wabu. so damn i'm gonna make a decision all right so i'm gonna tell the group uh just do what i say go outside the circle and then i'm gonna stand next to the to the cord to cut it and i'm waiting on the dinosaur okay and i'm gonna wait until the dinosaur is in the village and then i'm gonna spring the trap so this all so happens. We don't know. We didn't tell the ant people. No. The ant we did not are... tell the ant people. <laughs> okay. Hey, where's, uh, wait, where's, the, where's the jar, though? Where's the jar? Solid's got the jar. In your possession. Um, I put it on think... the ground. I put it on the ground for the, the people to eat from. A- Adam, I'll have you scoop it up. Okay. Um, do I know what he's going to do? Uh, you're, you're catching on. Okay. I just look at everybody. I'm dead serious. And I say, get outside the circle now. I so, do that. Just our group, right? Same. Yeah. Yeah. So your group. all these little yeah. ant folks, these 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 pods are designed to do this, so that 
ant folks and the dinosaur will be fine. Uh, they're all made. This whole tarp is made out of vines and moss, and it's cushioned, so they won't land and splat. What they'll do is they'll land, take a little damage, but they'll be fine. Um, but it will jettison them a thousand yards into the jungle. <laughs> So now I'm I'm waiting for the dinosaur to be in okay. the middle of it. So, so the dinosaur is going to be in the bag the with tyrann- the tyrannosaurus, which is a large. I grab the jar and I throw it to uh, F Helix. Okay. So um, dinosaur stands on platform. Um, as that happens, Wabu pulls the linchpin, and the whole shebang folds up, as you can see in the diagram, uh, into a little grass net and <laughs> launches into the forest uh, at an extreme <laughs> speed and height. And um, you guys are left standing there in an open field with no ant people, no dinosaur. I see in the picture, the, the dinosaur has a question mark above his head. <laughs> the dinosaur is very- in our, in our representation, the dinosaur still has an exclamation mark. The dinosaur is taken <laughs> yeah, by surprise, surprise yeah. that he is now being jettisoned into the uh, jungle. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, good shit. (laughs) And that's where we'll end for now. Um, You guys can set up camp here. It is safe now. Uh, um, They're a thousand feet away, though. Can we set up camp without them getting here? Yeah, you'll be fine. They're they're gonna need. They're gonna need to recover. Um, And by that time, a thousand a thousand yards in this jungle, there's plenty of stuff in between you and them. So. Okay. You'll be fine. Um, Hugh is going to set up uh, a fire. Uh, you guys can do. Yeah, he he was kind of just hanging out. Um, he can be used in these situations. He has not stuff, um, but uh, so he could have probably told about that trap okay. area. But um, <laughs> so uh, you guys can do a long rest here, regain all your Hugh. stuff. Um, we are not going to do level ups every week. We're going to do them every two. So next week you'll do. It. Uh, otherwise, I think it's going to go too fast. Cute. Right, sounds good. That's not the way I would have done it, but I suppose that Wait, works. So this is the second week. Though. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you watching uh, um, D and D with us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. week. Um, Hope you liked it. I know we did. Let me reference my guide here. <laughs>